Anyways, so you've all been, with the exception of the two of you, called to this town, as you know, to fill in for some recent vacancies in the local guard. As you, uh, I think we're going to start with uh, Crit and uh, Tyson here real quick. And uh, we're going to start with you guys having a discussion with uh, Officer Riker, who's about to send you on your merry way to collect the new recruits. So you've both been called to his office, uh, which is on the northwestern part of town in the uh, head barracks. And as you get to the door, I'm assuming one of you is going to knock. It is most definitely not me that knocks. Oh. Sit there, like, anxiously looking at <laughs> okay. Poe. I guess time. I am the one who knocks. So Poe's going to knock. <laughs> and David Tyson. I had and... to, Craig. <laughs> You're going to hear from the other side of the door a voice shouting back at you. Come on in! As you, I'm assuming, enter the room. <laughs> Before you, you see sitting behind his big oak desk is one of the few humans that lives here in Stanford. Your, uh, I guess you'd call him like the first officer, um, Riker. <laughs> God damn it. And he's a fairly charismatic looking uh, human with a mustache. And he's sitting behind his desk and he looks like he is a little annoyed today. And he kind of is going over some paper, paperwork on his desk. And he's like, Ugh, it's about time you two got here. Look. I need you guys to go down and collect the new recruits. I need you to meet them at the inn, get them set up with uh, some uh, place to stay for the night. And then afterwards, I need you to take them to the local shops and get them outfitted. We're kind of in a bit of a hurry here. As you know, the those assholes who retired left us in a bit of a bind. We don't really get all that much crime, but we've been hearing a lot of disturbing reports lately from the neighboring cities, and I am worried we're going to get attacked too. Better safe than sorry. Sorry, I love it. You do feel it up to the task? Uh, uh, of course, boss. Uh. As you say, sir. All right, I'm good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some planning to do. I'll see you in the morning. And he'll, he kind of motions for you guys to close the door. I will close the door. Very sheepishly. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're gonna hear him yell at you uh, as you're closing the door until that kid to straighten up <laughs> thanks for that Leon it's perfect <laughs> I laughed but push the talk yeah, I, no. can, I can't tell if this is Riker or Goofy sometimes I <laughs> yeah, no. He, why, he's, why not he's, both? Why not both? This, this he's is the voice he's got, a bit, man. But I, lo I love it. It's I'll it, it, do it again. That's what I'm waiting for him to say. <laughs> All right, so you guys make your way down to town. Um, you have to head to the southern gate, which is where the um, the local inn is that they're supposed to be meeting you at. 
It's about probably a you know, 15, 20 minute walk from Riker's office, office at the barracks. So as you guys are heading down there, I'm assuming you're going to go straight to the inn? Or did you want to stop anywhere else in town? I'd be going straight there. Yeah, we don't really have anywhere else to go, right? Not really. Okay. In that case, we're going to jump to the rest of you, who are of all kind of met each other along the way as you traveled the main road into town. You all kind of have bunched up together as the roads kind of converged all onto one main road. And a lot of you have realized that the you've all you're all headed to the same location. <laughs> so as you guys are traveling down the road, we're gonna see here. Can I get some perception checks from the rest of you? Steve. It already begins. That monk shit. Dang! So, with those rolls, the Sadie and Fennel, you both kind of notice as you're walking through the forest, kind of like over a hill, just a little ways off the road, there is like just the slightest bit of an overturned carriage sticking up over some bushes. You guys can either keep proceeding to the city or you can go check it out if you want. Or I'm going to go you. check it out. <laughs> you're going to go oh, check I'm it out. Over there. Okay, you're going to let the rest of everybody else know what's up? No. <laughs> okay, so you also both no. notice it and you just kind of like diverge. <laughs> well, there they go. The, the rest of you give me some... Uh, Give me another perception check to see if you even notice them leaving. <laughs> That's two twenties already. Damn. Might as well raise, waste them all now, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So Rinya and Casval definitely see the other two breaking off. As far as Re and uh, Whisper go, you you don't really notice it. Hey, what's up? Eh? What you doing? You oh, see there's something? A, there's a wee wagon over here. Uh, in case you guys hadn't noticed, the road is, like, over here. <laughs> I won't be able to keep it together with that. Yes! That's why we have pushed to talk. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really loud. What the fuck was that? You might need to hear your volume down. That was frog noises. Oh, frog frog noises. (laughs) Is that all you're going to say? Please tell me that's all you're going to say for the entire campaign. It can't speak English, so yeah. Let's go! Let's go! (laughs) Yeah! Alright, so... (laughs) So, the, the rabbit and the fairy are just Headed right over to the to the wagon. It could be a trap. Actually, I believe Fennel has proficiency in making traps, correct? Uh-huh. So I'm gonna have you roll a investigation check for me. Oh yeah, these are good ones. Investigation. This has got a real good bonus of zero. I was going to say, I can't tell if that's sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you, you don't really see any obvious traps. In my mercenary days, is this like a common way to station ambush sort of thing? If I like kind of look back onto my I life. I mean, you, you would have experienced certain ambushes like this before, yes? Yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm to avoid the, the fucking cart and just keep on my way. 
Okay. So you, I, I don't, you just I don't know keep on going. going. All right. So what about uh, we got Re and um, and Rinya? Rinya. Uh, what are you? What are you two doing? And Whisper, or you three? Excuse me. You're gonna continue on your way, or you're gonna stop and check out the overturned cart with the with the rabbit and fairy. I think Rinya is probably gonna watch him in confusion, try to figure out what exactly they're doing. Okay. Considering that every step one of you regular sized jerks takes is like ten for Re, Re is like I'm not I'm not deviating. I'm, I'm I I got my orders. Fuck you. And he keeps going. <laughs> well, I'm like I'm under three feet tall. I'm small too. I am six foot six. I am huge. The other one's up there. You're huge. I mean, if you shorties would like to like get a ride or something, you could ask. Pardon me, lassie. Don't need no rides with these here. <laughs> I wiggle my feet. Yeah, Reed just raises an eyebrow at you and looks at you like you're stupid. What's for questions? Whether I don't think the frog like speaks English. Going to what's English? Guard or some kind of circus? <laughs> Maybe a little column A, a little column B. <laughs> All right, so Can I do an investigation check to look look everything over. You want to go check it out too? Yes. If okay. Going. So you diverge off to go with the rabbit and the fairy. Um, I'll give you. So you arrive and the rabbit is inspecting the wagon. Uh, what are you doing, Rachel? I suppose I'll investigate also. All right, so you two can both roll <laughs> investigation checks as well. And uh, Fennel, you can give me another one as well. Now that you've d determined that you don't believe there to be any traps, you can investigate the actual carriage itself. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, well, Sadie and Fennel, you, you don't really see a whole lot. This carriage looks pretty mangled. Um, but Whisper, as you go in to investigate you notice that underneath the carriage kind of buried into the mud a little bit and protruding out there appears to be the slightest bit like the tips of some fingers it looks as though just it just the tips <laughs> it looks as though this carriage has rolled over on top of someone or something. Do you wish to Interesting. try and lift the carriage, push it over, let everybody else know, see if they can help you? Yeah, I'll yell out to let everyone know that there's people trapped under here and we need to get this flipped over. All right. Okay. And I'll... I think I could probably like handle that begrudgingly walk back to the carriage to see what's up. Okay, so as the rest of you come back to the carriage, are you gonna... Let's get a group strength check from all of you and see if you can push this thing over. Strength or athletics? It's gonna be... Well, they're both the same, roughly, so we'll go with athletics. Perfect. Just in case you have a bonus in it. Which you do. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll do that then. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> Just wow, sing. it was worse. Okay, ev 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 everyone stand aside, please. I got this. So, as a, wow, this is... It's a good thing this was a group check. <laughs> oh, wait. I might get to roll that with advantage because I'm a centaur. Okay. Yeah, I think you get actually, as a centaur, you do get advantage on, like, pushing and pulling Yeah, push-pull, lift, all advantage. Well, she gets to treat it like she's a size bigger, too. Yeah. All right. Well, it it was it was just enough with Mister He Man there, and then uh, even Whisper, like they did they did a lot of the heavy lifting here. <laughs> but you shoved the cart over, and you notice a couple of things. This cart didn't appear, doesn't appear to have any space on the front for horses. Like, there's no place to attach the reins or anything like that. And it seems to have a weird mechanical gearbox on the underside of it that you notice while pushing it over. 
Can I inspect that gearbox more closely? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Same. If anybody has tinkering, I will give them advantage. Leon, I, you didn't tell me which of those new four skills I was proficient in. Oh, shoot. That's right. Uh, one second. I'll send you. I like to imagine that Re helped you guys flip the cart over and looked very much like they're taking full credit for it. I also don't know what I'm proficient in. <laughs> I was hanging up the side. I'm also going to say that I don't know what I'm proficient in. Yeah, is the person either. dead? I thought, I, thought I got everybody with those. Um, nope. We'll have to, I'll, I'll get to the rest of you on that by the end of this episode and sort that out. Sorry about that. Is the person underneath the carriage dead? Yes, actually. In fact, you find two dead, lifeless bodies. Yeah, nasty way to go. And you notice that they are not human bodies, but halfling bodies. If you want anybody else want if anybody wants to uh, do a medicine check, you might be able to determine how long they've been dead for. Corpse is a corpse. Yeah. Okay, so Rinya, you uh, you have a pretty good guess. These bodies look like they've been here for a couple of days at least. Oh, there's no revivifying that. Yeah, they're, they're like their cheeks have kind of like sunken in, and they're like cold blue skin. Like they've definitely been here. A while. <laughs> they haven't really shown any signs of decay as of yet, but they've started to bloat. I'm kind of surprised we couldn't, like, smell this from the road. They've been here for, like, days. You do notice that you don't smell any rot. Huh. Which is very strange. Does the carriage look like it's just been tipped over here, or does it look like it may have lost control somewhere a little while back, like some... Uh, shoot, I forgot. You roll the investigation check on the, the carriage and gearbox as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so looking at that, I'll, I'll cover that for, before I forget. Um, you think that this looks strangely familiar to some new technology that was being developed in your city for horseless carriages. It seems to be that this carriage is completely gear-powered. Fascinating. What's a little yeah. device like this doing out in a place like this? So, do you guys want to search the bodies, search the carriage some, for, some more? I'm going to jump up in the back of that thing and rummage around. Okay, so Fennel jumps up in the back. He starts digging around. You can I'll barely... Bodies. Sorry. Okay, so you're going to search the bodies? Well, as Fennel is up in the back rummaging around, he notices there's some boxes with some, like, scrolls and stuff. Some bags. Uh, you, if you want, you can look inside the bags and see what's in there. Um, beyond that, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot besides just some random luggage. Nothing of no? Just, just... Well, if you if you look into the bags, you... I will. Okay, give me an investigation check. Cool. <laughs> so, Fennel, you stick your hand into the bag. And you begin to feel around, and you notice that the inside of this bag feels much larger than the outside of the bag appears. As you're feeling around inside of there, for a few moments, uh, grasping at nothing, you finally grab what feels like a small box 
shoved way, like, almost impossibly further into this bag than it should be. Like, your whole arm is, like, right down into this bag at this point. You want to try and remove the box? Uh, or maybe take a look into the bag? Yeah, let me try and peek in again. Okay, so you stick your head into the bag. <laughs> and all you see is dark nothingness. Oh. You can't even see your own hand grasping the box that you feel at the end of the bag. Well, I'll uh, pull my head out. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, no, I think I know what this is. That's just enough. You feel something kind of whispering at the edge of your mind, and it startles you a little. You're like, what the heck is that? And you lurch back out of the bag with the box in hand. Hey. But, uh... That was a little weird. <laughs> Fucking bags. So in your hand, you now have a small wooden box with a gold inlaid trim and some red gemstones encrusted around the outside of it. There appears to be a keyhole on the box as well. Ah. Doesn't open? Nope, you don't. You try to open it, but it seems pretty solid. I see Fennel, like, just pop his head into this bag and pull this thing out. Yeah, roll me a perception check. Yes, you do. <laughs> and the bag isn't very big, is it? No, it's about the size of a regular bag, like a regular backpack type bag. It's just okay, so he, he could feasibly fit his head into that without it being weird. You are, what, three feet, Fennel? 211. Two, oh, yeah, he, is, he could probably, like, it doesn't look like he could, but based on how far you saw him shove himself in there a second ago, he could probably fit his whole body inside that bag. Why, well, anything interesting? Sweet hair box. It's got luck on it, though. Let me see. Uh, no, I think I'll hold on to it. I can pick it later. Oh, we can I open it right now. I can open the box. I mean, I could. Yeah, I mean, I could just pick it right now. I've got me tools. You want to? Do you want to try and uh, lock pick the box? Is that sleight of hand? Uh, I believe yes. so. Yep. 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 Probably going to need to take it in for evidence. You attempt to pick the lock. But it doesn't seem to want to open. You you suspect that this is either a really expensive lock, or there might be something magical keeping it closed. Ugh. It's one of them there we magic locks, and I just throw it at him. There you go. I don't need it anyway. Probably shite. Can I look on the body? Yep. So, <laughs> we'll jump over to... Uh, Rachel, real quick, then, as she's searching around, feeling up the dead corpses, <laughs> hey. checking checking the pockets and the folds and whatnot. You do notice that in the back pocket of one of the two halflings, there is a rolled up scroll that is pretty muddied and, you know, flattened at this point in time from being squished by the carriage. As you take the scroll and you unroll it, there is a list of what appear to be locations. What languages do you speak? Um, color go check. Because there is a map on this with like a list of locations. I don't know where you see... Oh! Uh, common, Thieves, Cant, and Undercommon. Mm, nope. You don't really understand what any of the words are on the map. And weirdly, this map does not seem familiar to you at, at all. It doesn't look like any. it's from anywhere around the surrounding region. Hmm. Okay. 
I guess I'll just put it uh in. I guess it's bigger than me, probably. <laughs> I was gonna say in my pocket. Um, I don't know. I'll just put it back. <laughs> Remember, no looting. I'm pretty sure this is actually a crime scene. Yeah, I just put it back. Yep. You may wish to inform the town guard of this when you arrive in town, so they can send somebody out to perform an investigation. Might end up being you guys. <laughs> You guys said there was, like, some magic thing on the box. Can I see it? You said that. I don't know if he's... Oh, I mean, I don't know. I just couldn't pick it. It could just be... Let me try, let me try and pick it first. And I'm fancy locks. I think Caswell has it at the moment. Are you going to give it to them, Caswell? I've suddenly realized I have no knock spell, so I hand it to them. Okay. So, who's going to try and open it first? Uh, of course. Oh, yep, it's... Doesn't budge. <laughs> this is some fancy locksmithing work here. Well, you have another go. All right. What is happening? Nope. <laughs> uh, we don't know, apparently. Must be one, but one tough box. All right. So, what is it you that you want to do, uh, Sylvie? Uh, I was going to try to spell magic. Oh, okay. So you're gonna try and cast the spell magic. I die for cover. Oh, if if they hand it to me. Now, just out of just to double check, does the spell magic have a material component cost? Ah, uh, I have no idea. I right. don't know how to do first it. level. Go look. I know this one's third level. Oh, third. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm pulling it up too. Nope, it does not appear to have a material component cost. Alrighty, so you're going to cast a spell. Oh, that's detect magic I'm looking at, not spell magic. Whoops. Yeah, I don't see anything in dispel magic. Uh, so Rainy is going to offer her hand out, like, not grabbing for her, but just like, you want to give me a shot? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, here you go. Drop it in your palm. And she's going to try dispel magic. Okay. So. I need you to roll me a 100-sided die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good start. Okay. One so, off. you cast Dispel Magic on the little box. And suddenly, the lock on the box breaks the gemstones encrusting the outside of it shatter and the lid pops open and out of it a ghostly green beam shoots up into the sky I close my eyes I'm gonna close that <laughs> box real quick before you have a chance to close it from out of the beam you see a number of light wisp like thing, uh, like wisp, like uh, balls shoot out of it and twirl up into the air and scatter out into the woods. Did we just open Pandora's box? Well, I at least you... like it wasn't fire this time. I think you broke it. Was that part of your spell, Lassie? The box now sits inanimate it doesn't in front of you. Usually, the green thing. It usually just does the the no magic -y thing. What? I don't know what the green was. The green is totally, like, new. So, so what, what do you mean you don't see the beam? That was like a beacon. Um, actually, you guys are in town still, right? Should, should be, yeah. yeah. Roll me perception checks at disadvantage. It's gonna be the best roll ever. I have a great <laughs> bonus for this. <laughs> One. Oh my god! Let's go. <laughs> no. Minus one to perception. Well, Alphonse most certainly did not see anything. Uh, Poe, my comfort cat. You kind of see like a strange greenish hue from the woods, off in the direction of the main gate, that's and you think you see you see like some flashes, and that, that's about it. It's a little strange. You might want to. 
maybe look into that later. <laughs> Something tells me they're either not at the tavern or on their way to the tavern. <laughs> does, this, so, does this magic light kind of like look familiar to me or something like that? Roll an arcana check. Magic. Okay. I have no fucking idea. Nope. <laughs> uh, anybody with proficiency in arcana can roll an arcana check as well. Does this have to do with uh, fey fiends or undead? It does have to do with one of those. Okay, because I don't have proficiency, but I have uh, advantage when it comes to those things. I'll let you roll then. Certified the only one moment. Who succeeds is the frog. <laughs> who can't talk? <laughs> Listen, I can decipher beast movements as a thing. I don't know if grung count. You you can just text it to me. Okay. Yep. Um. Actually, I'm gonna pull you real quick into super secret DM chat. Oh boy. We'll, we'll be we'll, we'll be like thirty seconds. Be right back. So it was definitely undead that you sensed. Shit. And those things flying out were souls. It was a soul box? It was a soul box. Oh no. Okay. Uh, all right. Now we can help back over. Okay. So the box has been opened. Does anybody have any kind of proficiency with perception checks related to hearing? No. No? Okay. In that case, I guess you guys want to... You think that you found everything that there is to find here at this uh, overturned carriage. Do you want to continue on to town or investigate more into the woods? I think at this point, I'm going to head into town and okay, inform, well, inform the guards to get the backup out here, basically. Right after that flash went off, the grung gets a really freaked out look on their face and this is what you guys hear prepare your ears <laughs> oh well that was, I'm it was supposed the, to be a voice the narration. <laughs> there it, weren't it supposed to like, be narration in these but hey is this the frog version of hyperventilating basically your little froggy friend doesn't seem to be handling this too well well, I suggest we go into town and come back out here with some backup, perhaps. Reed just nods and points at the, uh, where the lights had gone up and does the whole, like, draws her, uh, his finger across his neck. That, that's, uh, good. that's great. It's always good. I I'm, I'm gonna turn to the, to the centaur and be like, good job. In my defense, you, like, handed it to me and asked me to open it. I didn't hand it to you. I mean, technically, he handed it to Whisper, who then handed it back to Fen or, uh, Fennel, and then handed it to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you asked for it. So, you know, I thought you were just gonna pick it like the rest of us. You go and do a centaur magic, and now, look, the frog is scared. Well, hey, yeah, you know, I need a I drink. thought the we frog is, like, allergic to lights. We shouldn't cast any blame, we should just hand it to town for now, I think. Allergic to your voice, Lassie. Reed's just gonna sit and glower at the centaur. Alright, so we're gonna have you finish the rest of your journey, which is about, you were about ten minutes outside of town at this point. You finish getting to the main gate. You've gone through the main gate. And you now are all arriving at the inn. As you walk into the inn, there is a little halfling woman behind the counter. Uh, hello? Uh, how can I help you? Hi there, we just got into town. Uh... Honestly, I'm not sure about the rest of them, but I could use a quick drink. A drink? 
Uh, Hop up on the counter. Yeah, where's the uh, where's the bar at, huh? The bar is right behind me, behind these, these double doors. But you you gotta, you're going to have to uh, rent a room, otherwise you can't have any of our alcohol. Reed chucks his paperwork at her. <laughs> then how about uh, cranberry juice? This is. Uh, it appears to be written in a language I don't understand. It's like it says "ribbit, ribbit" on it. I think it was my transfer <laughs> orders. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at it upside down. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of the. You must all be the new god we were expecting. Oh, excellent. And roughly about awesome. this time, um, Crit and uh, Tyson's characters come in behind. And he, she sees you guys from behind the counter walking in behind uh, the rest of these uh, fine guardsmen. <laughs> it's, oh, hello, boys. So, uh, Officer Riker likely sent you to fetch them, huh? Well, that's good. I haven't seen that young man in at least a few days. You should tell him to come by and visit. He's uh, such a sweet yeah, boy. Sure. We'll, we'll do that right away. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's a very busy man. Are you the town god? Yeah. He is. Hi. I'll just take the rest of your papers from you real quick and we'll get you assigned to your rooms. I'm sure you all have a lot to talk about. Thank you. And she just waddles around incredibly slowly. Like, this poor little halfling lady looks like she's got arthritis. And she takes the papers from each of you and brings them back to her desk and starts to file them, slapping them with little rubber stamps. There's been a bit of a situation. Uh, we found an upturned cart of sorts outside of town and that had crushed two people underneath of it. And then we also found some sort of magical box that had a very, very strong lock on it, which uh, the lock was opened and a large beam of light kind of flew out from it and released something into the woods. So you already they... caused problems without even doing your job first. Let's just, you haven't signed in anything. You've just decided to cause trouble outside of town. Well, in all fairness... Technically, the if it's like not on the books, it doesn't really count. Not the, trouble, the trouble was not a group effort. I, I don't really think that's how that works. Yeah, no. Whatever, I did. Trouble? We don't have trouble here in Stanford. I, I've never seen any kind of trouble. Surely they're probably playing a joke. Sure. Can you tell me the truth? <laughs> Let's just... Oh. I love There's how Leon's so animated. It is it is a quite a small quiet town. Not yeah, small. Um, quiet. It's, it's nope. boring here usually. Yeah. No trouble or not, there are in fact two dead bodies outside of a cart. Uh um, point of order for the DM. Go talk to them and see what they had yes. see what happened. <laughs> Sorry. Just because I can't speak doesn't mean I can't write. Can I write? Can you <coughs> can you write in common? I understand common and grung. <coughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd say yeah. you could probably write it. All right, I'm going to snatch a little paper off of the desk, and if it's the only pen, I'm taking it right out of her hand. <coughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's fine. Um, I don't need that back. You, you keep it. You're, you're, you look rather poisonous. I just got a nod, and then I'm going to scribble <laughs> uh, a note down, and I'm going to hold the paper up, and in great big kind of childlike letters, it says, Souls Out. Souls. Souls Out? What? Well, what, it's... Is, what does that mean? Well, I think we know what's in the, what was in and, that box now. Can you elaborate at all besides Souls Out? I don't think the grunt can speak English. I mean, common. I just yeah, ribbit I mean, and point at the, uh... What's English? Now, this this is a very exactly. good question. In theory, I can understand beasts. 
Is the Grung a beast? <laughs> Who knows? Technically, no. Still, still humanoid. Te technically, Grungs are still humanoids. Yep. I can understand bears and all, but this thing... I don't know. The frog eludes you. The fro I can speak to normal frogs. This frog, I can't. Oh, uh, who Soros got out the box then? I just shrug. What is yeah. he? What's the frog talking about? His soul's let's, out. Let's go somewhere let's, else. Yeah, shall let's we? not discuss this in the Why end. Why don't you guys get your rooms first? Did she mean? Did, did she mean that maybe they, they ran out of shoes? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah, yeah she, she, ran out of she said it's cold yeah. out. It's cold out today. Oh, sure. okay. Well, um, everything's fine. I just Me, drop I my. I didn't expect the frog to be good at spelling. I I just drop my jaw in utter like consternation. Like I'm, I just look like you are all fucking stupid. I hate this place, and <laughs> and I throw the pen and paper to the ground and start stomping outside. Don't worry, I hate it. Tells me the frog doesn't understand subtlety. The the oh, halfling. The sweet old halfling lady behind the counter eyeballs uh, Crit and um, Tyson and is like, um, you do know that any damages are going to be billed to the uh, the barracks, don't you? Uh, yes. Of course. Yes. It was okay. A I... It was a very good then. I'm gonna mend the floor wherever it was. <laughs> just. <laughs> I mean, it was just a no pen damage. and paper. I doubt it clattered. I know, it was a pen. Like, so she's an old sleep. lady. She's an old lady. Okay. I'm gonna, just do, I'm gonna give the, the rest of the group a once-over. Do I see any other wizards in the party? And rest, or are you gonna be a perception check? Ugh, okay. You can't tell. Mm. Anybody who is a wizard who doesn't want him immediately to know you're a wizard, you can roll deception. <laughs> and he's gonna beat his 13. See, Caswell doesn't care either way. The thing is, he doesn't look anything like a wizard. Okay. Well, if you're not caring, I'll say that Alphonse, you kind of get a weird vibe about Caswell, but you're not. Like, he doesn't really look like a wizard. So maybe your intuition is off. It usually is. With my minus one to all wisdom checks. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun campaign for you. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine having a negative. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Just wait until I take my gauntlets off. <laughs> oh shame. Okay. Let's take. If, let's if you'd that like, sucks. if you'd like, I could set you all up with your rooms, and then you can go do whatever else it is that you are supposed to be doing. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Well, right this way. And she's going to. She's gonna, oh, that's right, I'm going to have a hard time doing this while moving. She's going to waddle her way down the hallway. And you'll notice that on the on the left-hand side of the building, the rooms appear to be much cheaper. <laughs> and she's kind of like, well, it, it appears as though... You only had accommodations for the economy rooms. Um, if, if any of you would prefer one of our master suites, you could uh, pay a little extra to upgrade. No. Uh, well, we have the four economy rooms. Uh, you may have to share. Do you guys have, like, a barn or something I could stay in? I'm a lot more comfortable standing while I sleep. A barn? What kind of establishment do you think we are, young lady? Somewhere with people who are part a horse? Like, what kind of accommodations don't qualify for people like me? That's oh. pretty exclusionist. 
There, there are no horses here in Sanford. There's, there's no centaur. We, we have, we have mechanical carts here. We don't need horses. Renia just rolls her eyes real hard. Fine, I'll like find my own place to sleep in the woods then. Well, w- would you like a double suite? We could maybe charge you double. What a ruthless Look, businesswoman. I'm a half horse, not half money. I'll take the woods, thanks. You're gonna go you're going to sleep in the woods. My I never <laughs> Alright. Take the economy real please. Suit yourself. Uh... I'm just gonna give these two other guards from the town a, a, a fucking look. Yeah, you'll get used to it. Don't worry. So we got. <laughs> just, I'll just awkwardly okay. smile. Castleville is taking an economy room. Me, that one's better cheap one. I already said no to the expensive one. So the uh the grung walks back in. Still mad, but wants to put their bags down. John, give me a insight check. Okay. Well, you don't really yep. think Appreciate anything's it. out of the order. <laughs> so, let's see. We have, uh, how about you, little uh, fairy creature? Are you taking an economy room? Uh, <clears throat> I'll I'll take a cheap one, yeah. Okay, aren't you a cute little thing? Actually, I'm going to stick take the liberty of sticking you in the room with this strange little frog. Is that all right? Fucking pardon. <laughs> Oh, God. How dare you fucking call me cute? Oh, my goodness. What language? uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh my. uh, I start, like, just kind of curling into my... (laughs) If we can't have an alteration on your first day, correction, first two minutes, that'd be nice. Sorry. I got a bit angry. The frog just starts, like, croaking out a little, like, peepish, croaky laugh. My goodness, someone... Nobody tell her parents how rude she is. Oh my goodness. After I've dropped off my belongings, I'm gonna walk back outside to the rest of them. Okay. So you all unload all your stuff into the bags that you see before you next to your beds. Um, If you want, you can all roll me perception checks for your individual rooms. <laughs> So, Sylvia, you're, you're gonna go sleep in the woods. I'm gonna go do some druid I, shit and like make myself a mini just... camp out in the woods. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh my god. Is there a way I can roll investigation because I am 100% searching this room? <laughs> yes, you can actually roll investigation. Man, I really should have just said I thoroughly investigate so, all the people to figure Never mind. Out. <laughs> I really should have said thoroughly investigate. So, <laughs> so the only one who really notices something a little off is Fennel, from the looks of it. So, Fennel, there's something about your room. It it doesn't doesn't really. It's it's like maybe it's just the uh, oh, what's that called? Feng Shui or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, the feng shui, the vibe, the vibe. Yeah, the, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe the furniture the is just vibe. misplaced somewhere, but <laughs> Check like, something room. in your room just feels, you know, slightly weird and unnerving. You can't really put your finger on it, and you just kind of like, for the most part, can you just shrug it off? It's like, eh, whatever. It's yeah, just I weird. Drag the bedroll to the opposite side. Eh. <laughs> Actually, if you want to drag the bedroll to the opposite side, go ahead and roll me another. Uh, Perception check. Oh my. He's already cracked the code. <laughs> He's solved the case already. He's figured oh, it out. Oh my god. You drag the bedroll over to the opposite side. 
and your sense of unease becomes a little worse. Oh, I told you, there's the fucking feng shui. They need an interior decorator. This place is shite. <laughs> I move one bedroll and I feel like I'm a piss me pants. Yeah, like, you kind of like, you're getting that sense of you, you don't really want to be in this room anymore. Like, you're just like, yeah, yeah, the, the, that's fine, whatever. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to go goodbye. <laughs> Are you leaving? No, I was just making a joke. Okay. <laughs> so, as you all, like, Fennel's probably the first one to do it, but then the rest of you kind of all filter back out as well, back out into the main room, and you meet up with... Uh, uh, it's going to take me a little while to remember everybody's characters' names. Meet back up with Alphonse and uh, Poe. Poe, yep. Two letters, Mr. Guy. Yeah, I know, right? You'd think it'd be easy to remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just have to remember Kung Fu Panda. In the... Exactly. <laughs> so, I think I, I think who are you fighting? Who are you two? We have, not, we have not been introduced yet. Uh, hi, I'm Alphonse. <laughs> she just oh. reached out my arm. Oh, I'll wait for him one second. I'm Casful Aurelian. Uh, mm -hmm. you're a new captain, I think, actually. Well, you're only gonna be my captain on the weekends. Ah, part-timer, huh? Yes. Fair enough. Farmer full-time, it's nice. I enjoyed the life. Uh, anyway, ho, Alexander Lindholm, at your service. I have a feeling my cat isn't too fond of the frog. You you both get firm handshakes. Thank you. Mm, nice handshake. The the oh, frog. Uh, I've had practice. Nice. Looks at the cat. Licks its lips, and then you hear this. Uh oh. Uh, As it scratches its name board. again. <laughs> Please don't eat my cat. Please don't. <laughs> Roll me an insight check. I mean, the cat is probably the same right. size as me. That won't stop you from eating it. Probably not. Exactly. You get the feeling that that frog wants to eat your cat. Yep. I'm just gonna walk over and <laughs> pick up my uh, my familiar. If a frog can fit its mouth around something, it, it will try to eat it. You gotta love out of tanners, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this is Salem. Well, black. I have a black cat familiar. Wizard things. I do the thing where I lick one of my eyeballs. Real, real charmer. <laughs> <laughs> you just carry a cat around with you. Uh, she's oh. not familiar. Mage things. Um, she's helpful. <laughs> Definitely got a familiar yeah. too. Want to see her? I didn't realize she was still here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought she was going out to the forest. I mean, I'm gonna look to that later. I don't have to do it right now. Just turn I mean, around, look. Just turn around, look up at the big centaur, and just curl a little further into myself. Oh, uh, hi. Hi. If you're going to the forest, might I suggest the north end, not the south end? What's wrong with the south end? Huh? What's wrong with the south end? We don't talk about the south end. Well, I mean, besides the whatever the hell we just unleashed. <laughs> besides <laughs> now, just the the souls out what, there. What, what, uh, whatever we just unleashed. Yeah. I mean, no. by we, I mean the centaur. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, wolves. Just your common. It's just not nice. The northern end's a bit more peaceful. <laughs> Insight on him. Go ahead and roll. I trust him. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Dwayne, you telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? <laughs> of course I'm telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The North End's peaceful! <laughs> All right, I'm very I'm back, guys. The end. I talked to the animals there. They're quite nice. Squirrels, rabbits, the occasional deer. <laughs> Great people. That's okay, I didn't trust you in the first place, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, we've got the edgy character, I see. Yeah. Yeah, we found him, boys. All right, right. target Hello. number one. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. 
Oh, well, you boys seem to know your way around. Where's all I get a drink, eh? Oh, hey, if it's a drink you want, we have uh, some supply here at the in the lunchroom. Ah, innkeep Hogarth has slaved away all day to prepare a meal for you weary travelers as you arrive. Or you could just go to the local tavern. I mean, their food is good too, I suppose. I mean, a uh, hand-cooked meal doesn't sound too terrible, but what have you got to drink? Because, I mean, if you're trying to give me swill, I'm a hoppy hopper at all here. Uh, we have um, basic alcohol and wine and, you know, maybe water. Have you got cranberry <laughs> juice here? I mean, we can make you some tea if you want. That's not cranberry. Uh, we don't That's have. Cran we we don't have cranberry juice. I'm I'm afraid. David Leon, listen. Hey, <laughs> cranberries aren't in season yet. Okay, and also, do you see any boglands around us? No. If if you want cranberry juice, you'll need to go to the the tavern. They but they don't get it in season. They just import it. It's not nice. It's oh, all shame. Preserved nonsense over there. You don't know how old it is. Oh, come Reaches, and save me, reaches into a pocket and anyway, I think we should dig this outside now, everyone. And shoves them in their face. What'd you, what'd you do? Sorry. I just reach in my pocket, pull out a bunch of dried bugs and shove them in my face. Did you just uh, eat something from your pocket? Probably bugs. I grab another handful and offer them up to the rabbit. Oh, I mean, I'll take a, I'll take a bug. Not oh, a bug. God. Not a bunch of like a dried grasshoppers and crickets. Sadie, you being right next to Ree, while Ree reaches into her pocket and grabs <laughs> the bugs and just starts munching away on these like dragonflies and butterflies and other assorted bugs. Like, roll me a uh, <laughs> constitution check. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're a little unnerved. I mean, a lot of those bug, wi bug wi wings look very similar to your own, and that frog seems to be very happy eating these insects. <laughs> oh, I'm in danger. <laughs> Hold on, that notes. I'm sure she won't eat you. I'm ninety percent sure. I sure hope so. Eighty-five. Seventy. You know, it's kind of bit like a potato chip. They're not bad. So, what should we do? Should we report to the barracks and get our stations first, or shall we just head on outside? Oh, I'm getting a drink well, first, and I walk into we, the... we were tasked to bring you over to to Riker, so probably better best to go see Riker first, then oh, get your position so and then go to me. To, to just a quick reminder, you you were asked to take them to the local shops to to obtain any gear they might have requisitioned. And then tomorrow morning, you're supposed to take them to Rikers. Correction. Sorry, I misremembered. We're going to get you outfitted first with anything you've requisitioned. Then we'll take you to the officer. Perfect. I believe I requisitioned a suit of plate armor for myself. I would like to go grab that first. All right. Anything else requisition? Anything special? was a list, huh? Probably an only paperwork I haven't looked at. I think it was just to play armor for myself. Just, you're the only one that's right. All right, cool. I actually lost my old set of plate armor. I had to, I didn't lose it. I had to start to pay off some uh, debts because apparently being a mercenary gets people hating you a lot. Yeah, I can figure. It's worth a lot of money, actually. What, you or the plate? <laughs> uh, either or. All right. I don't think I, like, require vision to anything, so I'm gonna go up and make myself a bed for the night, and then I'll meet back up with you guys around, like, the marketplace, okay? Alright. It shouldn't be too hard to spot you. Okay. Then Only Centaur and Cal. Out and head for the North Forest. You're gonna go to the North Forest? The fool. Oh, he's I don't lie. Nice one. <laughs> I don't lie. Okay. <laughs> Mm. 
just gonna hide, pull your marker down here for now. I just so hard. You've been I, banished. I may or may not be misremembering some information. <laughs> it's fine. So because I of... broke and step forward towards the uh, the two locals. Yes. I just wanted really the door. Wasn't paying attention because I didn't realize you were streaming all time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the frog has approached you. What do you do? Yes. <laughs> I point at the door. Which door? The one that leads outside. Yeah, Castle walks out and he's like, alright, let's go. Are you saying we gotta go? We got some requisitioned? Or you just need someone to open the door? I walk over to the door and easily open the door by myself. And right, you need somewhere to go. Yeah. I just look Point. at Poe like, are you, why, everybody's stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> Caswell is walking out the door. All right. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so I'll show you to the blacksmith. Air quotes, blacksmith, don't know. Eh. How do you not know? Don't you live here? Four years. Four years, huh? Uh, so what you... shop do we pass first? The... Uh. The first shop you'll be passing. There needs to be a button on this to grab multiple things at the there, same there time. Really does, there really there, does. There, I controller. feel like there is, but you know. So the, there probably is. I just haven't found it yet. Um, so the first shop you'll be approaching is the blacksmith shop. Hey, perfect. So they will have anything that you will, will have requisitioned from here is here. I obtained my plate armor. Okay, you've gotten all the things that you requisitioned. <laughs> Plate armor. My Plate AC armor is now twenty. Achieve. After visiting here, like That's I should, nice. I should mention that while you're there, you encounter the blacksmith himself, and uh, uh, one second, I pull up his name again. Oh, here we go. What's the voice? I need to know. Leon's good at voices. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, Leon, you can try drawing a box around them. I don't know if it'll work. That's what this post says. Yeah, Leon's so good at voices that he pulled into the grocery store doing an Omni-Man quote and scared some poor lady. <laughs> ah, classic. <laughs> favorite, one of my favorite lines by Omni-Man. What's 17 more years? Well, come on. I know I have a name for this guy. <laughs> uh oh. Have a spot. Go I on. Don't, I don't see him in my notebook. Uh oh, Alright, well, what, what oh wait, see? that's right, it's actually in the Discord. Oh. Oh, Gertie. Yep, Gertie the Gertie? blacksmith, that's what it was. So <laughs> Fucking so, Gertie? Yep, you see a old, haggard-looking halfling man, who is extremely portly, sitting behind his little workbench here, working on his hammer. And as y'all come into the, the uh, shop... He's like, I can I help you. You're here to pick up your gear. Yeah, I requisitioned a suit of plate armor uh, named Caspar oh. Aurelian. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. I think I got that right over here. You just finished hammering out the kink the other day. Perfect. Thank you very much. And he hands it to you. Caspar with a kink. <laughs> You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> on that yeah. note, the armor goes on. Is there anything else oh. I can do for you fine folks while you're here visiting me? You know, you I are... do have... Oh, go ahead. I do have this uh, quality suit of chainmail armor here. I mean, would you be willing to buy this off me? Yeah. Mm, let me see. He's going to inspect it really quick. Oh, yeah, it looks kind of a little worn. I see some kinks, some dents, a couple chains broken here and there. Uh, it's still fairly useful, though. Yeah, I suppose. Um, how about uh, I'll give you a, 
I'll give you uh, how about 50 gold for it? Huh? Seems fair to me. Alright, it sounds like a deal. And he spits in the palm of his hand and he stretches it out towards you to shake. I'm wearing gauntlets, so I gladly grab that hand. <laughs> and he shakes your hand with surprising strength for such a short fellow. And then takes the chain off of you and hands you the 50 gold. Cha-ching. Does anybody else want to roll any kind of checks or look around the shop? Uh, I'm... I'm going to look around the shop and see if he has any blowguns. And if he doesn't, I'm going to walk up to him with my and pull my reed blowgun out and uh, hold it up to him for inspection. Okay, you're going to hold up your blowgun for inspection? Yep, because I can't talk to him, so I'm just going to hold it up to him. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a... Silly looking piece of wood there. What, what is this? He kind of like inspects it a little bit and looks at you. Are you trying to sell this or you want me to make it better for you? Or what, what did you deal? When he says make it better, I thumbs up to him. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know if I could make this too much better. Maybe I could. Uh, replace some of the wood with some hammered out metal. Might make it a bit sturdier, maybe a little more accurate. I Wait. nod vigorously. Mm. Well, I'd need to hold it for overnight. If you'd want to leave it here, well, that, that's your call. Uh, I have two of them. Uh, yeah. Why oh, no, do you I have? I, I think I only have one, don't I? I don't know. Do you have two? I think I only got one. Oh, I, okay. I can't dual wield. I can do two attacks. That's what it was. <laughs> I look longingly at it for a moment and pass it over to him. All right. Well, you come visit me in the morning and I'll uh, see what I have, could have done for you. I wiggle my fingers together like making the money symbol. Oh, well, uh, we'll talk about cost after the job's finished. I don't really know how much work this is gonna this is gonna take. And I get paid by the hour. I just shrug and oh, uh, oh. pull my bow staff off or my quarter staff off my back. I'm done. Okay. Oh Since he might notice though get paid for an hour. <laughs> I'm wearing scale mail, but it is made out of like snake scales and, and alligator scales and stuff like that. And okay, it, is, cool. it is loud. It's like, imagine a whole bunch of those dry, light scales um, slipping together everywhere. You sound like somebody crinkling a bag of potato chips while you walk around. Basically. I can make the walking noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ears. You are not filthy <laughs> at all. No. I don't wear I armor. At I all. sound like Deckard when I walk. <laughs> I, I wear very shitty leather armor. And at this, he's going to notice Poe and uh, Alphonse. Oh, hey, boys. Come to visit. For, uh, you need anything? Anything I can help you with? I mean, it's been a while since you've been in my shop. Just quietly shake my head no and just say, thank you, though. Yeah, shy as always, Alphonse. You know what? That's why I like you. You're quiet. And he's going to reach over into his, uh, his uh, workbench for a moment, and he's going to hand Alphonse a compass. You take this, and I uh, think it'll serve you pretty well. Nice little uh, 
uh, shall we say, going away present, since I know that you're you're planning on leaving. Well, thank you, Gurdy. Oh, don't mention it, my, my laddie. It's always been a pleasure having you in my shop. Poe, you have a good day as well. You too, Gurdy. Anybody else need anything here at the blacksmith? Do I need to like roll to make my hovel in the woods? So you buy a longbow, right? So yeah, yeah, there was one I had commissioned, okay. I guess. So all right, so he gives you your order that you ordered. If you want to, you can roll me an insight check, whisper. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's oh, like man. 18s or like 3s. <laughs> what was that? Sorry? I'm rolling like 18s or 3s. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That, that, that's not a bad right? variation, it's honestly. Either a nat 20 or a nat 1. So actually, I'd, rather than type this out, it'll be quicker to just pull you over to the super secret DM chat for a quick second. Later, suckers. Not again. You <laughs> guess to know cool things, oh no. Okay. Always drunk, always angry. Are you guys ready to move to the last shop that's currently available? Yes, sir. There's two other shops I have to build still, so you can't go there yet. <laughs> Those shops are illegal. Don't walk in there. Those ones are closed for renovation. Arrested on <laughs> site, I swear to termites. God. Fed termites. Yeah, we're very quiet. Right, the next yeah, shop you guys get loads. to is the magic shop. Ooh, fun. Fun. I get very excited when we start walking towards the magic shop. All right, yeah, you you are a repeat customer here. Oddly enough, the frog gets really excited too. It, uh, it's exciting oh. wizard. Oh, find so, more gold. I'd buy something from here. It, as you approach the shop, you notice a big sign on the outside that says "Nix's Nix and Knox's Wonderful Wizardry Shop." And behind the counter, you see a little gnome. I'm noticing a trend here. Yeah, I was gonna say. All people walk in and just excitedly wave at him. Little gnome, as he hears the doorbell go off, as you guys all start marching in, looks up from his uh, dusty desk covered in books and potion bottles and whatnot, and he's got these giant binocular-sized galt glasses on that you know they're like three inches thick. <laughs> And you recognize this particular gnome to be Nyx. And Nyx is, Oh! Welcome! Welcome to my store! How can I help of you? Oh! Hey, if it isn't Poe and Alphonse! Have you come to buy anything else? I just bought some stuff earlier today. I, I... Oh! Oh, yes! Your order is ready! And he wanders over and grabs the stuff that you had ordered from him this morning. It's all set! Oh, and and I threw in a little extra for you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll, you'll notice that uh, there are a couple of uh, crushed gemstones in the bag as well. Free of charge. L little bonus for being a repeat customer. I think I might peruse a little bit here. I'm doing ah. 10. It's nice to yes. meet you. I'm Casper Aurelian. Oh, it's nice to meet you, sir. Are you, by any chance, the new captain of the guard? That would be me, yes. Oh, we've heard about you. Yes, you're like some kind of big hero from where you come from, aren't you? <laughs> oh, please, heroes is, he is a bit of a strong word. Oh, 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 it would be an honor, sir, if, if, if we could... Hmm. We, we should give you something special to mark this occasion. Are you coming here to work for us? 
Yes, yes, one moment. And he waddles into the back of the store. And he comes back with a large elongated box. It's like, eh, it's only like maybe four inches tall. But it's probably about two feet long. And he undoes the binding on the box. And as he opens it up, you see an indent in the shape of a long wand. And he holds out the wand. And he goes, this here is a mysterious wand that we have yet to identify. It would be our honor if the captain of the guard took up this item from this shop. Yes, yes. You deserve this, sir. Well, I, I thank you very much, sir. Uh, are you sure I can have this, though? I, I just I just got here. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I quite insist. It is all yours. Well, thank and you he, very much. He kind of, like, almost sort of shoving it into your hands, like, gives you the wand. My cop senses are tingling. <laughs> You're doing an insight check? Okay. So, as he's trying to shove this wand into your hands, you get the sense that he desperately wants you to take this. You're not entirely sure why. But... The wand seems harmless, but you're still put off a little bit by how insistent this gnome is being that you take it from him. I want to cast a tech magic just to see like what this wand is, kinda. No, I, the tech magic just tells you it's magical, correct? That the uh, identify you need to right. do to find Never, out what it is. It lets Never you mind. learn its school of magic. Ah. I will politely walk over towards him afterward, after he's finished detecting magic and just whisper in Casaval's ear, I, I can identify that for you. Oh, well, <laughs> better your spell thought than mine. And I give him, like, a, a, a friendly slap. Ow, ow. So, are you taking the I'll wand? I'll take the wand. Okay. So, you I take the wand. I you can't go. just say no, that'd be rude. It would be quite <laughs> rude. Oh, good, good, good. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Is there anything else I can help you with? We it's have be all, for all now. manner of spell here for sale. I'll definitely be giving this place a visit in the future. However, I'm a little bit light on gold right now. Oh, that, that's no problem. Um, hmm, for the captain of the guard, we, we might be able to establish a line of credit for you, if, if you wish. Oh, that would sound, that would be lovely, actually. Ah, good. I will talk to my partner, Knox. If you come and see us again tomorrow, we will find out the finer details of how much credit we can lend you. Do any of your other fine companions here require anything? Well, do you? Do you? And I kind of like looked to you all. No, I sir. pulled my hand up and croak. Uh, our, fr our friend here would like to purchase something, I believe. So you hold your hand up and croak, right? Yep. What did you say in your croak? Oh, in Grum? <laughs> yes. Antitoxin. Oh, why, yes. We do have that. Just uh, give give me a moment, and I will go find you some. For once, you guys actually see Reed look happy. So Nyx waddles off into the back where a bunch of vials and stuff are kept. And he comes back with a tray full of antitoxins. Uh, how many can I put you down for, my, my froggy friend? 
How many are there? Oh, well, we have as many as you could ever need in stock. We can make more, too, if we run out. You see this contraption behind me? And he points to this large, glowing, kind of like Tesla coil thing. This thing here is our Mephibulator. It can produce and replicate almost any item. It only requires a certain amount of, uh, well, material component. Uh, it's a secret recipe, though I, I can't tell you what it takes. But oh, if we yeah. run out of something, we can make more. Yes. What's the most lethal poison you have? The most lethal poison. <laughs> does he say that out loud? Does he? Yeah, he, he does say that out loud. <laughs> you see him scratching his chin. Wow, I just all right. turn and just make like a scared glance at the frog. <laughs> we are gods here. We don't poison things. Well, I mean, I knew I just, a guy. I just do that thing where I'm I'm focused on the shop vendor and I just wave off Poe. <laughs> yeah, well, to be Put honest, now. I need antidotes just in case. To to be honest, my six, my sister Knox is the one who handles the alchemy. Um, I will have to confer with her, but I do believe we have a number of uh, poisonous compounds that we could likely sell you. I mean, you being a member of the well-respected Sanford Guard, the, well, obviously these wouldn't be for nefarious purposes. It would be a, you know, a, probably a job purchase, I would assume. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, 250 for antitoxins, and then I'll give another 250 for um, any kind of uh, alchemy uh, components, and uh, again, your, your most toxic alchemy components and poisons. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. I have a plus zero. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not bad! Oh, actually, yeah, that's just, yeah. So, he's going to look at you a moment and be like, you, you know what? I've always been fond of frogs. You're so colorful. Uh, I tell you what, I'll give you a little bit of a deal on this. Um, rather than just give you the five antitoxins that you would normally get for your 250, how about I give you six? Yeah. I, ra I rather like you. You should definitely come back and in in, in, uh, see my sister tomorrow. Oh, I, I nod, and I put a big bag of gold on the counter. Okay, he I takes your gold. A lot of paperwork in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you heard every bit that the gnome said, but you didn't hear anything the frog said. <laughs> I get scared at the mention of paperwork because that's that's typically my job. Yeah, oh, I I, luck I luckily get off of it on you know weekdays. Uh, tell me about it. Yeah, no, it's not nice. You wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I had to do back in my my old post. Sh should I be concerned? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, all all the action I saw there. Oh. Oh. Well. Alright, so is everybody done at the magic shop or is there any more shopping that needs to get done? I might need antidotes now, purely because of the poison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll hand him a list of things that I would like to be okay. packaged up for me. Oh, okay. Um and I hand him hundred gold. All right, and he looks at your list, looks it over for a few moments. Uh, yes, I think we can do that. Uh, we'll, we'll have the package ready for you in the morning if you wish to stop by. That'll work. A, it'll take me a minute to uh, search through our wares and find it. No problem. My, my sister is the one who organizes this shop and... Uh, Oftentimes, I, I can't find anything that she puts away. No problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Paperwork. All right. So if you are all done shopping, we are going to go to the horse. Uh-oh. 
And because this part of the map is not finished being fleshed out yet, we're going to not be able to use the map. So give me one second. Look at that. He's got to make a whole forest just for Sylvie. Well, it was coming. I just right. didn't think anyone was going to go there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just begin. The forest with all the souls in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we came in. You guys came in from the south. I said go north. Yep. S Sylvie so... could not hold herself back for five minutes. So, she couldn't take a normal room. Al Alphonse, um, Alphonse and Poe would know there are only three entrances to this city. There's the southern, the southern gate, the northern gate, and then the western gate. There is no eastern gate because there's a river on that side. So, Sylvie wandered all the way through town, getting weird looks from the vast majority of, uh, these denizens here. Um, do you want to roll me a uh, perception check, Sylvie? Okay, so as you're wandering through the city streets, you notice that a large number of the residents here all seem to be of the minute races, such as halflings and gnomes, and even a few dwarves. But the vast majority all seem to be halflings. You find that a little strange, but not too strange. I mean, the entire aesthetic of this place kind of is sort of similar to, like, the Shire meets, like, a quaint London village. Something tells me I might want to go follow her at some point. No, oh, she's long gone by now. <laughs> I can I can become fast if I want. So you fo you follow the roads first through the town, and you finally make your way past the uh, the town library and stuff, which has like a big sign out front of it. It's the town historian's office along with the town library. And you pass by this, like, big-looking sort of fire pit thing that they've got in the middle of town. It looks like they do a lot of uh, garbage burning and stuff at this place. It smells pretty terrible in that rough, rough region. It smells like a lot of, like, uh, burnt garbage, uh, charred meat, uh, other refuse. Finally make your way into the northern forest. Give me another perception check as you get to the forest. <laughs> I mean, like, this place is Totally awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're forgetting to use push to talk as well, by the way, because you're not. No, talking I'm, to I'm just two sevens in a row. Fantastic. <laughs> um, you're fine. So this 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 town yeah. feels pretty pretty nice. I mean, you can definitely it's see like this being super quaint. Yeah, it's like a great vacation spot, maybe if it wasn't for the. The terrible housing arrangement that they were offering you back at the inn. So rude. Clearly, I have to do something about that while I'm here. <laughs> you you kind of like trot down the woods a ways, and then you come upon a like a small area that looks pretty clear. Like you could make it set up like a little camp. Okay. And I'm gonna pull you into super secret dam chat. Oh dear. That's three uses of that in one session. Good lord. There's going to be a lot of that in this campaign. Sorry. I try to keep it quick, though. Yeah. What the hell? Wow. That's Jesus. She did that with her perception checks, too. That's her third 20. So Something. this is how she survives this long. Something tells me that it, she's it learning exactly about cool. plot when she's not supposed to. <laughs> uh. I, I've learned that 
monks punch things. <laughs> oh yeah. Punch of time. Yeah. Or no, kick them. In my case, we kick them. You can. You got stick them. You could stick them. Oh, oh yeah, you're you're uh. You're kick them and stick them. Yeah. Kick them and stick them. Kick them. Are and there stick guns? Em. No. 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 Not guns, no. Seth too. Or electric boogaloo. But we can deflect arrows. Yeah. Seth. No, it's, it's shall, but with a gun, Greg. Ah, oh, that would uh, be a persuasion devastating check. combination. Still <laughs> twenty, technically. Still twenty, but a I persuasion like a check. <laughs> Better be careful with that. I got an actual injury from coughing too much. Holy shit! Tore intercostal there's muscles in between your ribs called intercostal muscles, and I have like a permanent injury from coughing too much. If I cough too hard, it'll re re uh, aggravate it, and well, it'll feel like I've broken a rib for a couple weeks. Why do humans suck so much? I love it. We can just just accidentally destroy our own bodies by sleeping yeah, or coughing. We are super, an, super we are useful. We are an evolutionary failure. Oh, but you know what we can do? We can walk infinitely. Oh, cool. Have you ever seen parkour? A wisdom <laughs> save. We can also talk oh, and look at you. Oh, wisdom. Yeah, we do have we do have consciousness. That's where all of our superpowers. I, are. I would rather be able to like bite with fucking fifty thousand pounds per square inch. Yeah, I mean, li lifting, like, four times my body weight like an ant would be pretty dope. Reject humanity, return to monkey. Become I'd like an to ant. only, return only to have fucking invertebrate. to worry about surviving <laughs> and, cool. and nothing else. I would have stayed after somebody else's back, sorry. I, I would have stayed in the primordial soup if I knew there was going to be days like this. If I, if I knew there were taxes, <laughs> I would have stayed in soup. Two people taxes if you in the it. fucking 90s. That's that, nice. that's, this is true. No, this is true. <laughs> what the hell just happened? She had some good rolls. That's what happened. <laughs> you know, <laughs> are in this oh, campaign. Boy. Completely accidentally, but please tell me I'm not the only one who noticed I rolled a 7, a 7, a 20, a 20. I pointed that out. Did you die? <laughs> Go to the casino. Did you get hurt at all? <laughs> she can't tell you yet, because she's in the woods. I need yeah, to know if my recommendation of the Northern or Forest is good or not. No. So, we use one of those mechanical carts to explore further without you. Yes, I said we should put the cart before the horse. <laughs> All right, I'll so for that. the rest of you, are you going to return to the inn for the night, or do you want to wander around town? Is it like a bar or something? Oh, yeah, right to the liquid. Yeah, let's go to the bar. You're going to go yeah. to the tavern? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna uh, regret doing this, but I'm gonna I'm, try to find the horse. <laughs> I'm gonna look for a water source nearby. East. Go east. River. East? I east you said river. Okay, but you wouldn't you wouldn't know that because I'm just croaking at you. Water, drink, do anything. Show me what you want. Oh yeah, I do the little drink a cup thing. Yeah, actually, actually roll me a perception check, uh re. No, you know what? It's like right there as you're walking by. So, so, so as you guys walk by the end of the inn, you're gonna notice there is a teeny little puddle of water right behind the inn. I'm gonna go over and smell it. Uh -oh. You gonna go over and smell the puddle of water? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me in uh, investigation check. Does this have to do with fey fiends or undead? Do you get advantage if it does? It's yes. a hole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you get advantage. Uh -oh. Perfect. I'm sorry. Let's, let's go. Puddle Not puddle. 20, bitches. <laughs> are we to puddle? Hell puddle. So, <laughs> come to me, puddle. plot. So Sarah, or Re, excuse me, as you approach this puddle in the ground, something makes your little froggy skin pimple up. Like, big time. Is it a fey fiend or an undead? You do, in fact, sense a fiendish aura from this puddle. How did you guys I get it right? Here... The hell puddle. The weirdest sort of extreme croaking panic noises from the frog who's pointing 
desperately at the puddle. You know, you know, like in that movie, The Ring, when you stare at the well and the camera just gets like that eerie music. <laughs> oh. It like slowly zooms into the well. That That's kind of what you're experiencing with this hole. What do you want yeah, me to do with the Yeah, we can delete that now, right? Poe, Alphonse, what's up with the hole? Uh, it's a, what do you Roll mean Roll me a history it's check, Poe and Alphonse. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, never mind. Ah. Uh, no That's clue. the hole. Can't we don't talk you. about it. Can't tell you. I mean, it rained there a couple nights. You know, it rained Listen, a couple nights ago. It rained. What? Helped my crops what? out wonderfully. Uh, what? when what? when it what? rains, puddles happen. Why is the why is it eerie? Well, you know, no, nobody eerie. else really picks up on the eerie yeah. except for the frog. The frog is just freaked out. <laughs> the frog that can't talk to you. Do you need a bath? I, I, I can get you a bath from the puddle. What's up with the frog? I make yeah, demon what? horns on top of my head with my fingers, and then I point at the puddle. Uh, I'm. I want bull. you. I'm just. I'm just gonna Cow? cast deer. I'm. I'm gonna cast shape water just over the puddle, move it five feet to the left. Just. Eh. Oh, you're gonna cast shape water on the puddle. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it over soon. Eh. Okay, so you cast shape water. The water in the puddle sloshes out and moves five feet over to the left. You said. Yes. Okay, and then it slowly begins to trickle back into the puddle. Is that normal? <laughs> I mean, it's a down, downhill grade in that little spot, so. Oh, huh? well, did I anything in the hole, or was it just looking like a normal hole? I mean, it was a pretty deep hole. You, you did notice that you didn't really see the bottom of the hole. Oh. Well. My I mean, you, 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 could old, probably a well. you, you were able to shape five feet of water, right? Five yeah. cubic feet. So you, you pulled five feet of water out, and yeah. there was still more water. Down Why the would there be a well here? Yeah. There's, no, there's no, like, thing to draw water from. Just uh, roll around. history checks. <laughs> uh, uh, Poe and uh, Alphonse. History check. Out of this. Am I here? Yeah, you're here, Fennel. History check, you said? That's, I think I got something. Do, do you happen. have advantage on stuff like this, Fennel? For demons and all that? No. Oh, okay. I just, I just know Sylvan. Oh, okay. Yeah, you I did. also know Sylvan. Oh, Damn, so, uh, Alphonse. I, with I, the... I know a little bit here. Okay, so I read Alphonse. You think, you know, I, I it's right behind the inn, and the inn doesn't really have an outhouse. Oh, maybe, maybe one of the patrons or whatever dug it up one night and just decided to use that as their outhouse. Can can we maybe move on from this? I, I don't like it. <laughs> you know what? But fair but enough. You, you know, you seem forward. to recall this hole has been here for a long time. Just Wait. hasn't always been full of water. You're telling me you're all standing around staring at a latrine. Listen, I, mean, I have my own right. I own, I have my own house, my own place uh, to take my ones and twos. To, uh, I don't know this. To be fair, Mr. Fennel, uh, there's really not much else going on here to look at. Well, there's a bar right down the road where I want to talk about shit water. We could go have some piss water. You know what? I agree with you. Not much of a drinker. I need is, a, right. is that the only open source of water that I can see? That you can no, see listen. from here? Uh, if, roll me if... a perception check. That's, that's foul. Go east, please. Don't go sticking your hands in the shite water, frog. 16? You sense another source of water nearby. God. I swear to God, if there's more. Actually, oh, it's very God, close to you. Is. There is another hell puddle. Right below. <laughs> what the, is happening? Uh, the magic what shop. The hell pits. The hell right. pits. It's a fucking sinkhole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing and investigate it for demons. It, it, it is out back behind the blacksmith, below the back magic shop. You can roll me another check at advantage. Oh yeah, that one reeks a demon as well. I just, I just go like, like I look up to the sky, like why God, why me. <laughs> Ian, is that you? I'm gonna do the same thing and just five feet to the left. Just also can't see the bottom, I'm assuming. Yep, this one is also more than five feet deep. Yeah, let's look, another another shitter. It's fine. Now, so the the frog, now frantic, 
begins running north. Roll me another perception check, Froggy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's really weird. Why is there two puddles? There's one behind every building, I'm sure. Come on, they're not every shitters. building. They're shitters. Come on, they need some place. Is that your percent? Oh, Jesus, a twenty. Don't have out outhouses well, here. Well, uh, you find one next to the We are a relative small town. Of course, we don't have actual. There's retreat. another one. So there's oh my another God. one right next to the tavern on the eastern side. At this point, this little frog is exhausted because I am technically <laughs> tiny, and I've just been freaking out like a like a fucking dog but, who doesn't know what to chase geez, first. Let's, but let's relief, just go to the tavern. Relief, finally, beyond the puddle, you hear the sound of a running river. The river loops up behind the tavern and then the eastern side of the city proper. I'm gonna run up to the river and check it for demons. You gotta check the river for demons? I'm, I'm a little paranoid now. Okay, so you wanna check that puddle over by the tavern first? Uh, yeah. Okay. Why is there demons in the puddle? Why is there hell pits? No, no, I remember, oh my the frog, God. I remember the frog is the only one that knows any of this. Why are demons oh, pissing in puddles? Yeah, to know. everyone else, we've clarified, they're shitters. That's yep. what they are. Yep, there is uh, definitely a lot of demon aura coming from this. So you guys just think I'm running around looking yeah. at the shitters being just pissed off that there's like... Well, it what could be the small cloud of flies that's buzzing. Over Same the thing. Oh, shape water. They think you're being attracted to, maybe. Shape water. Eh. Nope. Still look another shitter. This is awful. I want to. I want to get a drink um, so badly. Maybe he's just. Maybe he's just looking at all the flies. Just oh, on that note, I'm done. And with the, with the poop, I'm going inside. <laughs> Investigation. Let's be checking the river. You begin to wonder. Maybe this just really is a, sh a shitter. <laughs> with that three. No, no, no. I'm checking the river for demons. Oh, you're checking the river. Oh, okay. I don't know, with, with a three, like, you just sensed so much demonic energy at this point that even the river feels demonic to you. Alright, but I'm pretty desperate. So you guys watch as I strip naked and jump in the river. Oh, if if you needed the river, you could've just asked. Alright, I'll do it for me. I'm going in. Okay. I'll follow so, fiddle. The frog is outside <laughs> swimming in the river while the rest yeah. of you come into the tavern. I, mean, I want to go get the horse just because, you know, the horse isn't with the group. So you're gonna go look for the horse? Yeah, I will wild shape into. Uh, we deer. brought a horse. Just oh, so you, you know. mean the centaur? The centaur, yeah. I'm just gonna become a deer and then go over there because it's faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're gonna go turn into a deer and then you're gonna go to the north side. Yep. Try to find wherever. Okay. Well, horse. we'll come back to you in a few minutes then. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I want to try to get Casaval's attention, just like tugging on him a little bit. You know, you have words for a reason. You, you, you guys are moving so fast and talking to each other. I, I can identify that wand for you. Ah, go ahead, why not? So I'll, I'll walk in with the wand and I'll um, go over to like a usual spot where I sit and I'll just start setting up a ritual and ritual cast identify on the uh, wand. You usually sit in this back dark corner? It's quiet. Ah. I should have seen that one coming. Okay, as you go sit in the back corner, a young halfling woman named Sally approaches, carrying a giant tray full of a whole bunch of different assorted alcohols. And you recognize her to be the, the waitress of this establishment, Crit. And you've known her for a number of years, ever since you joined the guard, pretty much. I'll wave at her as I'm setting up my ritual. She kind of, like, blushes slightly and smiles at you. And then she plops a tankard down on the table in front of you. And she says, this one's on the house. And she plops it down. And then kind of, like, bows slightly while balancing the tray and goes off to keep delivering more tankards to people. Are the rest of you guys all going to sit at the same table as uh, Alphonse? I'm going right up to the bar. You're going up to the bar? Okay. 
After this, I'm is gonna go on grab. The bar. We, After we this is identified, I'll go up to the bar. Give me two seconds while I grab the figures and drag them up here. Because this might become important. Oh, great. And there's just there's FYI, there's... Uh, after an hour, uh, when I have thoroughly soaked myself, I'll strap my gear back on and come inside. I'll go around the side of the building that doesn't have the demon shitter. We're going to have to get to the bottom of that eventually. You mean probably, the probably, it's probably, probably very literally. It's perfectly normal. Nothing wrong. Who's who's going to take the plunge? <laughs> I can I can have a swim speed, so in theory I can become a fish. Become a rat. Perfect. You'll, you'll be at home in there. Rats are great swimmers, actually. They no, are. You're over uh, Pars or Casavol. You're next to uh, Alphonse, right? Yep. Just gonna identify this and probably go up to the bar with Fennel. I'll go with Fennel also. Where are you, Whisper? Um, probably. Is there anybody else there? Uh, right now, the bar it's still kind of early-ish. There's not a whole lot of patrons in the bar. You see that there is Sally wandering around, dropping off drinks. Um, and as far as you can tell, there there is a halfling standing over next to a staircase leading upstairs. And that's all you can see from where you're at. There's nobody sitting at the tables, or nobody is sitting at the tables. This place looks like pretty empty at the moment. I'm just gonna pause right there and kind of look things over. Okay. How tall would you say that bar is? Um. How tall? How tall are you? Two eleven. It is definitely at least as tall as you. Cool. So, and hop up on it. <laughs> oh, cool. So you're like up on the bar. And I gotta figure out where the fairy went. She's too small. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> Where do you want to be? Uh... I'll be up on the bar also. I swear to God, if I come back to you the drop me. wall. Oh. I'll arrest everyone. Crazy. Okay. Don't so... mind that the person in front of you is uh, drinking under the age. <laughs> Ooh, Just yeah. for... what's, it, what, what's in that tankard? I'm not touching it. I'm pretty dismissive of the... Like, when I'm focusing on my spells, you, you can tell I'm just not doing anything else. Just for order of operations here, we're going to enter initiative. I'd like you guys, those of you who are uh -oh. present, including the frog, to uh, roll initiative. A wizard with good initiative? Unheard of. <laughs> Why am I going first? What is wrong with all of you? Uh, I'm too busy on... drinking. Gotta love rolling a five with a plus eight. I'm sick. I think I just need <laughs> you, John. The higher you, the bonus, the lower you roll. John's Unless in. You're Always. Me. And you just roll low anyway. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's at he's the in. bottom. Eleven. Oh. He didn't do it in it, John. Oh, okay. Yeah. He didn't oh, do I still have to do that. that. Yeah, you gotta do the oh, join so it adds yep. it to the and list. Yep, yep. Yeah, for whatever reason, the character sheet doesn't stick on this. Left. Yeah, for whatever reason, the character sheet doesn't. Uh... There he is. Oh, you um... haven't got to run away. <laughs> for whatever reason, the character sheet won't let you roll initiative. You got to do it in the regular exclamation mark in it join thing. All right, be right back. There we go. There okay, there we go. Okay, so Whisper, you're up first. What do you want to do? I want to remember to press my push to talk button, and then I think I'm actually well, going to go sit in front of the fire. 
this table to the left of the fire. Okay. That's about as far as you're going to get unless you dash. Well, let's dash. You want to sit in front of the fire or? No, like the other side of the table. Just, yeah. Okay. Do that. You want to roll me an insight, or not an insight, a perception check. And it was on a 20. That fire is pretty. That's what I thought. <laughs> pretty fire. Pretty cozy. That's okay. Pretty amazing that's animated. Alphonse, you're up. You're going to cast Identify? It's a ritual, so it takes 11 minutes. Okay. You are channeling Identify. Back. Fennel, what are you going to do? I'm going to flop down on the bar, order up me probably a rye whiskey, if they've got it. Yep, they do. In fact, you see that the shelves behind them are stocked with all manner of drinks, that some of which you've never even heard of. Oh, just a rye whiskey for me. All right. You... Maybe two. The uh, barkeep goes back, grabs a couple of bottles and brings them over. And he holds out his hand for coin. <laughs> oh, he, gives you, he gives you a sly wink as well. Ah, uh, what will it be then? Aye. I'll be two gold pieces. Why don't you just open a tabby? Oh, you one of the new guards then? Aye. All right, you can do that. We'll open a tab. And he pulls back his hand and he hands you the two bottles. I'm going to sit crisscross and pull out my bagpipes and play a tune. Performance check. Uh, Christ, I'm not drunk enough yet. <laughs> what is that <laughs> noise? Everybody else, roll me. Oh, it's the sound of filling bagpipes. I don't know if you've ever been around real bagpipes, <laughs> but the first 10 minutes is really annoying. Oh, God. All, all of you roll me charisma saves. Do I have to? I'm not there. Not you. You're outside. Okay. Oh, no, I'm too attractive. That. Oh, Alphonse. Roll me a constitution save. My boy. Oh, no, my jawline okay, is Okay, you managed to maintain concentration on your channeling. <laughs> but this is really hard. <laughs> Oh, God damn. All right, it takes a minute yeah, to I fill actually, it. You've got to deal I with it. The ritual it for a second, breathe. And I actually just My ears are fucking bleeding. Can you shut up. I'm trying to do a ritual here. No, you got to breathe. <laughs> the pipes got to breathe. They're made of cow lung. Do it outside. Never. Alphonse just kind of like rotates his chair <laughs> so that he's facing back towards. <laughs> oh, back, his back towards the rabbit. <laughs> just like hunches over and concentrates harder on what he's doing. This is too cute. Oh god. <laughs> um, I gotta roll some stuff for the in keeps real quick. Okay, they pass. Okay. Um, next up is Re. Are you on your way back into the building? You hear a very like disturbing noise coming through the windows. Um, has it been an hour? Because I have to stay in the water. It sounds like hour. somebody's murdering a banshee. Well, if if it hasn't been an hour, I'm going to stay in the water. Oh. It has not been an hour, so you're still chilling in the water. Yeah, yeah. I just look at the uh, the building that they're all in, roll my eyes, and dive back under to mute the sound. Alright. Sadie, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll also sit down on the bar. <laughs> and, um, I'll ask for a drink. 
And the the barkeep is going to like lean down and squint at you. And despite his short stature as a halfling, you are still by far even more smaller than he is. <laughs> and he like looks at you guys. Aren't you a wee one? Mm-hmm. Well, what can, what can all I, the time. What can I get you, lassie? Uh, what you got? Uh, well, we have booze or food. I'll have a drink, please. Well, what would you like? What What would you recommend? Oh, adventurous, are we? Well, oh gosh, I would recommend this little number back here. And he waddles back and he pulls out this purple Voss looking thing with a cork on top. (laughs) And inside is this swirling metallic liquid. Or metallic looking liquid, excuse me. Are you sure that's uh, drinkable? (laughs) Well, of course it is. He looks mildly offended at your suggestion. Fine. Okay. John, what direction are you facing? Last I, last I knew you were look you were looking at the fire, right? Uh or do you will you have was... turned around and looking around the room? Uh, I would have turned around to look at the rest of the room just to kind of get the full sweep of it. Uh, roll me a insight check at disadvantage. 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 Because you're, you, you're not necessarily focused on this at the moment. Gotcha. Uh, so you might not notice what's happening. Yeah. Okay. So. He hands you the liquid, and he like looks at it. And he goes, "Here, if you don't believe me, I'll take a shot." And although, don't tell me, boss, because I'm on duty. Okay. He pours himself a shot, and out of the purple vase pours this shiny, silvery-looking metallic liquid. And he pours it into his little shot cup, and he downs it. And he goes. Ah. Burns real good on the way down. Perfect. <laughs> In, you want to give me an insight check? Yes, please. <laughs> you notice his cheeks are getting a little rosier, but other than that, he seems perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll try it. Okay. So he pours another shot for you. And this the shot for him is like the size of like a coffee mug for a halfling, almost. For you, <laughs> it's like he handed you a bowl almost. You got a straw. So it's like it's like you have one of those fish bowls, essentially. Oh, okay. Uh... That is how the fairy died. <laughs> So you're gonna, you're going to try and drink it? Yeah. Okay. So you <laughs> you begin to drink the liquid. I need you to roll me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, good. I'm Ooh. perfectly. <laughs> yes. All right. You feel it burns a little bit on the way down, but. Beyond that, I mean, you feel it, like, really hot on the way down, and then when it hits your stomach, it feels like almost, it's pooling, like, almost solid lead in your stomach. But you've you've had worse. You feel like you can keep going. Do you want to keep going? You're about halfway through this fishbowl at this point. Um, chug, 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 chug. So you're gonna continue to chug like the fishbowl. Sadie drinks actual mercury and dies. Yes. I need you to make another Constitution saving Sounds throw good. at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Uh, go on, come on. You're a big, strong fairy. A big, strong fairy. You got this. 
<laughs> water. It's just shiny water, guys. Ooh! Ooh. There she blows. <laughs> there goes the fairy, everyone. Man so down, man the fairy down. downs this fishbowl. And my goodness, you feel you feel fucked up already. <laughs> I need you to give me a wisdom save. Okay. Perfect. The fairy passes out onto the bar to onto the uh the bar. Oh. So I'm going to try to drink as much liquor as your body. God damn it. Um, <laughs> Fennel, if you want, you can give me an insight check. Because you're right next to her. I mean, she seems alive. Well? Uh-oh. <laughs> well? Should have put my money on Rachel. I'm fine. Trust me. <laughs> She's probably fine. You, you, I'm you, probably okay. You've been blackout drunk enough times, you know, that you usually get back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll rally usually. soon. Just okay. take a nap. I'm okay. <laughs> She's like Leon passes out after one drink. Um, Got him. Again, when the drink is as big as you. <laughs> Sadie is oh, that's it. Great. That's it for Sadie's turn. We're off to Castle. All right, Castle just gonna give you to Alphonse. Oh, you look a little busy there. I'll okay. be at the bar. Uh, come get so, you when you're done. For the sake of moving this along for the duration of your channeling, we're gonna say that roughly 11 minutes have passed. Um, with mostly just Fennel over there practicing his bagpipes, slowly getting better. The fairy is kind of like dead <laughs> on the bar <laughs> at least nobody's nobody nobody thinks that they've seen her move in the last, <laughs> the last few 10 minutes or the so last 10 minutes. twitching she's just she's just twitching she's still breathing again it's like straight mercury <laughs> yep um john you can uh whisper can give me a perception check I know I said I didn't want a drunk or brawl when I got back. I also want I don't want a dead fairy when I get back. No problem. Yeah, no. This is you've noticed that some people have started to funnel in here and are beginning to get seated at some of the tables and order drinks. And Sally is like running around passing out drinks to these people. Okay. And back to Alphonse, we're going to say that you just finished your casting on Identify on the Wand. Okay? Oh, God. I'm going to tell you what the item is. Uh-oh. Now, Identify tells you everything about the item, correct? Yes. It says, uh, yeah, properties, how to use them, whether it requires a two to charges, if any. I learned whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, I learned which spell created it. Okay, well, I'm going to message you the item. Oh. What level identify... Uh, can identify be cast at multiple levels? No. no. Uh, it's just okay. first level. And this is also, yeah. So, Alphonse, you fancy yourself a bit of a caster? Yeah. As I, as I just slowly put away my spellbook. I've been known to dabble here and there, and I'll pull out my, uh, like, fucking, my spellbook as well. It looks like a little bit beaded and, beaded and tattered a little bit. All right. As soon as I get the ping for what the item is, I just So, what's it do? Gasp.
You alright there, Alphonse? Let me pull up the item so I can actually remember what it does. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me look at <laughs> I, I can pull it up if you need me to. I got it, I can just... <laughs> at least say something, my man. Okay, wow. <laughs> this is, uh... Very, very, very powerful. Terribly cursed? Yes. As well. That's very powerful. Oh, that bastard gave me a cursed item. I don't <laughs> I mean, know what this, I don't you get what you pay for, I guess. I do recognize the magic on an item, like the wand itself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'll just, I won't tell him what it does, but I'll just hand it to him. It was okay. very useful for you. What's the item do, Alphonse? A lot. Like a lot of things. Now, are you going to be more specific than that, or am I going to have to cast Identify on this myself? Do you want me to spend ten minutes list listing off everything it does? Not particularly. Okay. I'll just keep. I'll, I'll just put it away for now. I think. Okay. It will take you. One night to attune to it. If you just, if you should decide to attune to it, yeah. Later in the night in my room, I'm gonna fucking identify it myself. <laughs> With, did you tell him the name of the item? Yeah, I told him it was the wand of wonder. Oh, okay. The wand, the wand of wonder. All right. That's well, all I gave him, though, in terms of information. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, thanks for that, I guess. It was your spell slot, I guess, you could choose to do with whatever information you get from it. Oh, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to the bar now. Alrighty, so you go to the bar, and you notice... Actually, wait, technically it's still Alphonse's turn. Are you Are you all set with, a? Uh, after yeah, identifying it? And, I'm just gonna sit there and pet my cat. Oh, oh, Okie dokie. What's, what's, what's in the tankard that uh, was given to me by Sally? Uh, that appears to be sweet ale. I'll take a sip. Okay. Roll me a uh, insight check. What an odd check for an ale. I know, right? It is definitely sweet ale. You've had this before. Okay. Yep. Tastes, just, tastes pretty good. I'll just sit there and pet my cat. Drink. In fact, you would know that this is the drink that Sally tends to bring you every time you come here. Whether you ask for it or not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, so um, I gotta go quick check the order again. Go to... Let's see. Whisper, were you doing anything different? Because I think I might have quickly skipped over you. Um, well, now that you skipped over me, it kind of changes everything I was doing, so... Oh, sorry. Well, you you would have noticed them identifying the thing. If you're only a perception check at advantage since you're so close, um, I'll let you know if you overhear them talking about the wand. Yeah. You you heard that uh, Alphonse mentioned it was something called the Wand of Wonder. Okay. Um. Did uh, Sally come up to my to Sally, the bartender? Uh, she has not yet made it to your table, but if you'd like to, you can flag her down by raising your hand. I'm gonna do that. Okay, you raise your hand, and she kind of acknowledges you as she's at one of the other tables, and she begins to walk towards yours. She gets there. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, I just asked for some basic ale. Something ah. simple. Oh, right away, sir. Uh, and she kind of, like, skips off with her now empty tray of ale back towards the back bar to uh, get some more. And we'll can jump I, back to... Can I insight? 
You can insight, yes, if you wish. Super secret DM chat, real quick. Oh my we'll lord! Be right back after oh, these. Uh -oh. Holy shit! I wow, that's a lot of text, dudes. Yeah, it's sleight of hand. Who? Oh god, damn it! I'm... <laughs> that's concerning. God damn it! If he robs me, I swear to Christ. Well, hopefully I wake up soon. <laughs> hopefully. I wouldn't count on it. Listen, I have, I'll have i have you know, I looked at the Lesser Restoration spell and chose not to prepare it, so... <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I get a well-needed sleep. In a minute, I can bring you back. Yeah, be best I can do is slap you on the back with some cure wounds. I'll be okay. What else? What other spells do I? What did we learn today? <laughs> don't drink weird liquids. Don't, 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 give you. don't drink weird liquids in the town that you've been getting weird vibes in the entire time. <laughs> hey, in my case, I'm not very smart. Listen, at least the horse waited to, for me to confirm that the north is safe. I have minus two in intelligence. I'm not the smartest. Oh, imagine having negatives. Couldn't be me. I rolled kind of bad. I mean, I rolled good except Couldn't for that me. one. Oh, I don't have a plus five. I have a plus four. Okay. Okay. So. Welcome back. Hello. It is your turn. You have an unconscious fairy right in front of you. And you'll be playing them bagpipes. And I'm gonna keep playing them. <laughs> Performance check. That advantage because I'll say, oh, never mind. You did good enough. So, the ambiance in this in has definitely changed and now he has you all noticed that the music is now mostly pleasant to listen to if you're into bagpipes <laughs> yeah that's an assumption and if you're not into bagpipes well it's not your thing but if not you want, that bad anymore and you see a few of the patrons that have you know cycled in are now kind of beginning to huddle around him at the bar and they're kind of raising their glasses. And some are even tossing coins at his feet. And there's still an unconscious fairy. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, well, you're, you're, you're too busy playing your bagpipes. You're not gonna okay. do this. <laughs> I'm walking um, over. It's fine. Has it been an hour yet? Uh, it has not been an hour. Okay. It's been about 15 minutes, roughly. Okay. If you want to, you can come back inside, Ree. No, I have to stay in the water for an hour. Okay. <laughs> so, next up, it's Sadie. I need to, you to roll me a death save, please. Oh, oh my god! Oh, what? Okay. Okay, you, sh no. you should not have drunk that. Jonas, I'm about to, you're about to gain some I think money. We all have How do I do this? Oh, Lord, <laughs> I might actually gain some money here. You just roll, you just roll 20, just 20 to die. Some money. It's fine. I'm on my way. I can save you. You have two turns. Ah! You passed your first save. She's fine. Yep. I thought I was just napping. <laughs> <laughs> what I did mean, we learn? I mean, for the first... 12, 13 minutes, you were just unconscious, but now the alcohol poisoning is setting in. <laughs> I think that's the only kind of poisoning. <laughs> don't, don't drink your actual weight in alcohol. You'll die. The uh, <laughs> Next up, it's Casball. I'm walking over to the bar. Uh, okay, you walk over to the bar. 
Are you going to sprint, or are you just going to regular walk? Just kind of, like, you know, walk up to the bar. Just, uh, do, do I see this fairy, like, on the on the counter dying right now? As you get about halfway to the bar, you do see there is a fairy just laying there. Roll me a uh, insight check. You 22. So, you notice the fairy is a different color from when she was, you know, when you first met her. Oh, shit, I am... Then she, I'm she's, like, like, starting to turn, like, purple. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm striding over there now. Okay, so if you sprint the rest of the way, you're gonna pretty much make it over there. Uh, can I cast Spare the Dying on her? <laughs> yes. So you cast Spare the Dying. Yeah. <laughs> a, little a little bit of magic. Huh. And oh, you okay. see the very still unmoving fairy kind of take and sigh as if a big weight has been lifted off of her and some of the color begins to return to her skin. Okay, that's that dealt with. <laughs> um, what, did, what did she drink? The barkeep looks at you and then he waddles over to the uh, back wall again and pulls out this purple Voss looking thing with a cork on it. And he brings it over to you and slaps it down on the table. And he's like, oh, is just some of this stuff? And what is this stuff? Ah, this is the house special. It'd be what we call the silver kiss of death. It's not even <laughs> legal to <Perfect>. serve. Wow! <laughs> of course it's legal. We don't sell illegal booze here. Give me a fucking insight like that. Roll an insight check at disadvantage. Yeah, you believe him. Anybody else who was now well, not Fennel because Fennel's busy playing? Uh, uh, you can roll one, uh, John. At disadvantage. Um, not you. Okay. Well, question, why was I at a disadvantage? I'm not quite sure about that. Because he's very convincing. Okay. You oh, might, man. You might okay. Say well, uh... One might say he has a feat called convincing. Real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, my. <laughs> Damn it. Come with me, John. Are you kidding me? Stop. <laughs> this is the sixth time. It's a yes or no. I'm so glad I joined this. He's uncovering the plot already. Is, is he serving illegal God. drinks? Yes or no? Come on, man. Here's, here's this oh, big man. mystery. Yo, is the town, like, secretly a death cult? Boom, right away. All right, there we go. <laughs> nice and quick. I, I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> One more time, I'm going insane, I swear to God. Well, I mean, it's going to happen a lot in this campaign. I'm sorry. It's just the way this is set up. It's This is obscene. Y'all gonna love it so much. Uh, like, solve it. Have you got any mead, I guess? Uh, yeah, we got some mead. You want sweet mead? What kind uh, of mead you after? I mean, I'm off to it right now, so like, it's strong mead is fine. Ah, okay, I have just the thing. And he waddles back over. You notice, as he's because he's been waddling, that one of his legs appears to be fake. Kind of like a, a peg leg. Like a pirate? Yeah, kind of like a pirate. <laughs> hmm. And he grabs a tankard of mead and he brings it back over and he goes, Hey, here you go. Thanks, sir. If you be interested in trying the house special, it uh, might put some hair on your chest. Do it, Greg. Uh, go on. Do it. Be a man. And he pours, a, he pours into the container another shot, and he downs it right in front of you. Two. He's already beaten you by two. Can you yeah. let don't, you? don't tell the management. I've been dipping into the the product, but it's perfectly safe. You should try some. Watch, he's just a now, poison. <laughs> You can insight check that if you want. Because <laughs> there's like a nearly dead fairy on the table. 
I can reopen your stream. Perfectly safe. Yeah, you're gonna have to reopen. You know, it. Yeah. Yep, yep. I, I'm a little bit larger than the fairy. However, I think I'm good with the meat for now. Ah, I just got here. I want to. I want to be able to wake up in the morning. Suit yourself. And he waddles back and puts the purple container back on the shelf. I just love that there's a fucking dead fairy sitting on the counter. No, She's not is. dead. I've saved her life. I Almost. Not dead fairy. yet! So, Fennel continues to play, and uh, the rest of you are drinking, enjoying yourself. You notice people are coming in and out of the bar. And at this point, Unless somebody else has anything pressing that they want to do, we'll say an hour has passed so the frog can get out of the water. The fairy is beginning to regain consciousness. You have a completely splitting migraine, and you have two points of exhaustion. Oh, man. Welcome back to the world Life. of the living. Leon, or how do I add that to my uh, being your uh, what is it? Uh, add uh, it's, it's under conditions. I add active conditions. conditions. Yeah, and then two levels of exhaustion. Yep. Your speed is. I don't oh. see. Uh, is anyone uh, people see coming in and out? Word, yes, word people have been filtering in and out of here for the last hour or so, as you've been doing this. They they come in, they get some drinks. You notice a handful of them order the uh, Silver Kiss of Death. And they take a single shot. And then they leave. Ah, uh, there's the key. Just That's all they need. You take Just a single one. shot, that is it. You don't drink a full fishbowl. Well, that fishbowl was a single shot. Yeah, but because of her failure. size. Yeah. It was like the she size had, of the fishbowl. Like, she literally had basically her weight in alcohol. Um, did any of them sit near me at all, or were they all at the bar? You will notice. Uh, actually, roll me a perception check. Ah, uh, it seemed like they were pretty evenly spread. You didn't really notice anything out of the ordinary. Um, it seemed like typical crowd behavior. Uh, during the hour, I'd like to just at some point get up and go to the bar just to be around everyone and okay. check on the ferry, <laughs> but also check out anyone else that has come in that doesn't work here. Okay. Um, yep, you've been checking people. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Whoops, sorry. I rolled insight. Is that the same bonus as investigation? Uh, yeah. Yeah, one more. All right, all right, so we'll just say 15 then. So, um... You notice that the vast majority of the people who've come in and out of here have been halflings. Uh, with the exception of a couple of dwarves. Um, all of them appear to be having like typical town garb. Um, not too much out of the ordinary for what you expect from local townsfolk. Um, all of them have come in, gotten their drinks, and been out of here in under 10 to 15 minutes. Do I think there's... Do I see anything in common with uh, the people that work here? No, other than they're all really short. Not really. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So, Re, you are... You've been in the water for about an hour. Do you want to uh, make your way back inside? Yeah, I'm going to just investigate that demon shithole one more time. Okay. And it's just as I pass by. Okay. okay, so for the intensive purposes, it has begun to become evening. The sun has started to set. Like, it's around, like, 8 p.m., I'd say. The sun is going down. Re, as you go by this hole in the ground. I need you to roll me an insight check. Great. Uh, 
great insight. I'm so good at that. No, oh, I'll take it. You feel something from this hole. <laughs> like you're being watched. Your little froggy skin is all pimply again. I can't see anything, though. You want to get closer? No. Okay. Because you're just, you're just walking by. You haven't gone right up to the edge. You, you've kind of maintained, like, a, a safe couple feet distance between you and the hole. You know what? I'm going to shoot it. You're going to shoot the hole <laughs> with a dart? Nice. Yeah. Okay, um, just aiming anywhere in the hole or anywhere? Oh, I can't! Oh, yeah. oh, you gave him your dart gun. That's, That's right. It. You have been disdarted. Dis Stab the hole with your with your stick. Nah, you I'm not. You can throw a rock. I'm not going to go. I'm going to go inside. Okay. But I'm going to be, like, watching that hole the whole time. So the frog makes it into the bar. So a frog box into a bar. And you see <laughs> a beleaguered fairy kind of like sitting on the edge of the bar, bent over, looking like she wants to vomit. And you also see the rest of everybody else is still standing around the bar. Fennel has begun to, to end his song for the night. You'll notice, Fennel, you have a small pile of gold at your feet worth about 38 gold coins. Scooping that up. Alrighty. I'm gonna, I assume I see Casville. Yep, you see Casville. He's kind of just like shaking his head as he's drinking his <laughs> ale. <laughs> Alright, I'll hop and over to him. Way off in the corner is Alphonse. Yeah, no, I'm going for Casville. And uh, I don't have the paper or pen. Okay. But I like wave him down. Oh, a little angry looking frog comes up to you and starts frantically waving its arms at you. Need something? I do the horns thing again and point towards the door. All right, lead the way. I turn around and start marching. I follow right. the frog. Are the rest of you going to. I see the two of them leaving and I'm going to get up and, and follow. Okay. Same. Uh, yeah. I'll see everyone going. I'll start going. I'm going to march straight out to that hole. <laughs> Rachel, are, are, are you uh, going to come along too? Where are we going? Sorry. The frog seems to be leading them all out the door. Uh, sure. <laughs> Try to tag along. Okay. So where are you going, Froggy? Um, I'm going to stay probably about 10 feet back from the hole, and I'm just going to point at it whenever God it damn follows. It. Not the holes again. No, I make the devil horns again and point at the hole. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. You oh. might be onto something. Give me a moment, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to start ritual casting detect magic. You're going to cast Take Magic? Yep. What's the casting time on that again? Ten minutes now with the ritual. Alright, so are you all going to sit around and watch as you, you wait ten minutes? I mean, I'm going to do it tapping my toe, but sure. Okay, so the frog is just angrily tapping her foot as the rest of you are sitting around watching Alphonse cast a spell. Sorry, I forgot to push the talk. I also must get the hole. Hello? Yeah, hold on, he's typing. Sorry, I had to answer something. Somebody asked me. Okay. Okay, so what was that? I also investigate the hole. You're investigating the hole? Alright, go ahead yep. and investigate. Oh yeah, done. Rolled it. I forgot push the talk was a thing again, so. Okay, so 26. 
man, this this hole seems way deeper than a puddle should be, definitely at first glance. And you don't notice any fecal matter or anything in there, so you're not entirely certain if the whole porta potty slash you know shithole thing pans out as far as a reasonable explanation for this. Yeah, I don't think this is a latrine. This is more just like an actual hole into the ground. Full of water. I mean, we are next to a river, but uh, it's a little. I'm a little iffy as to what this thing actually is. How close do you have to be to identify there, Crit? Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, the range on Detect Magic is 30 foot radius. 30 foot? Okay, so you can do it from... Are you going to do it from way back at the maximum radius, or...? Uh, I'll be where I am right now. I don't want to get too close to it, but... Okay, you were right about there. Okay. Alright, so you finished channeling Detect Magic. Roll me a uh, wisdom save. You all watch as Alphonse just passes out. Oh boy. Okay. He's out for the count. He like finishes his spell and then just flump crumples to the ground. Well, that really is not a good sign, is it? You know, uh, yeah, you don't really need to roll anything for this. You notice he's kind of like shaking a little bit hey. and hey. foaming at the mouth. Oh shit. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna like can we get close to him? You might get some money here, Tyson. I may or may not gain money. Can I like roll medicine or something to see if I can help? Yep, you can roll medicine. He appears to be having a seizure. Oh shit! Okay, hold him down. Hold him down. <laughs> I leave for an hour to go check on the one. That's exactly what you're person. not supposed to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you're holding him down. Uh, I, I don't fucking know. I, but, but Battlefield wound dressing is just like putting uh, hot so fire on it. W with your medical training, um, you would know that you're supposed to... Well, actually, I don't know anything about what you're supposed to do with the seizure you, either. So. You turn them into recovery position. So lie them on their side, one hand under their cheek so that any liquid can drain from their mouth. You specifically do not hold them because if they're seizing, you can break bones that way. So there you you go. try to get them onto yep. their side, you do not force it. You know, also... you know to do that. <laughs> okay. Can I also roll a medicine check? Uh, yes, you can. In real life, I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either in real life. So. Just let know. I very recently had to take a first aid. Um, with that medicine check, you don't really pick up on anything. And just in case, I do a spare the dying. Okay, so you can spare the dying on him. And, yep. uh... Can I do alchemy okay. to see if I can get like a, a something to help him, like smelling salts or? Um, if he's seizing up, should you pray? Uh, okay. Like, okay. Forty on him. <laughs> does, does, anyone, does anyone know where this kid's parents are? Shame. The, the only other person. Shame who's that from the here. other local is gone. Yeah, the only Shit. other person who's, who's from Where's here. I oh, told okay. you guys don't cause problems. Fettle, fettle, I can leave, but there's a seizure. Salt, please. I told told you guys where I was going, so... So, yes, no, alchemy check? Um, you can do a quick alchemy check to see if there's any any kind of plant growth nearby that you might be able to use. Mm. Uh, you don't see anything that might be useful for waking somebody up. Oh, okay. shit. Fennel, go get the Pope. Alright, well... Hello? Zach? It has been uh, like an hour. Go get the Pope. It has been an hour since he's, I left. He's long gone at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's gone. They've been in the bar. It might Plus. be prudent if the d actually roll an intelligence check so I can see if I can give you advice. Who will intelligence to see anybody? Anybody who would want to see if there might be a good idea. <laughs> Even the, uh, I'm not you, here. I'm not here. Oh no! For save. Oh, it's just a check. So, uh, go ahead and roll. Oh, 
Okay, okay 19, that's pretty good. 18, okay. So yeah, you guys might know that it might be a good idea after he stopped convulsing to get him in a bed somewhere. Okay. Okay. Probably would be a good idea to do the same thing for the fairy. Does this kid have a house <laughs> or something? <laughs> well, you don't really have well, don't anybody know. immediately there you can ask. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to pick him up. I'll be like, Let me okay. Check his box to see if he's got like ID or something. Go, go, okay. go, get, go get the fairy one of you. Yeah, Caswell, can you, you're the one that's right on him, right? Yeah. 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 Like, can you like look in his pockets and see if there's ID or something there? Sure, I'll loot his pockets. All right. He does have a uh, badge for the local guard. And he's also got some other various, you know, intimate items, including a journal and some other things. Don't care. Don't care. Does he have a driver's license? Uh, he does not have anything that resembles a what you would consider a driver's license. Un unfortunate. Anyway. He's got a badge. Is he an organ donor? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mean, I'll... this is like medieval You'll times, man. Know. People didn't have no. wallets. <laughs> What's this say? Do oh, not that was resuscitate? More of a joke, if anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pick him up and let's like... Okay, let's go ask around and see if this kid has a house or something like that. Or, or a family. Okay. Ah, okay. I will remind you that the sun is going down. It is getting dark out. You're going to notice as you're on the street walking around, there's fewer and fewer people. Uh, someone go get the fairy. I'm pretty yes. sure she's still out for the count. Yeah, I, be I believe the... <laughs> the frog turns no, around there. and runs back after the fairy. The frog goes after the fairy? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, the fairy is here now. with you guys. She's right here. She kind of, like, slowly floated behind you okay. guys. Yeah, she is here. awake. She, she's not passed out. Yet. Yeah, she, right. she's awake now. She if just does not look very good at all. If there's no one... I'm gonna go back to the bar. If You're gonna no go one... back to the bar? If there's no one out <laughs> and about... If there's no one out and about, I'll just take him to the... In, I guess. I'm gonna follow that fairy. Oh god. If I can't find anyone out here. I'm having a fun time just I'm being a deer in a forest. Alright, you're gonna call somebody over? Yeah. Anyone in particular? Uh, the, the bartender guy, person. He, he comes waddling over. What can I do for you, miss? I'll have a mead, please. You want a mead? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I certainly. <laughs> and he goes and he gets you some sweet mead. I just look at her, my jaw drops, and I croak at the barkeep, like, cut her off. Zero what? morals. Are you sure about that? Ribbit. And I nod. Hmm. But the customer's always right. I just I, have a little, trust me. And I like, I do like that, you know, that bog frog, deep, growly, no. <laughs> oh, very well. Well, in that case, why don't you collect your friend here and take her back to her room? You're I'm going to no flick out my tongue and grab fine. the fairy. Roll the hit. <gasps> Does it count as a ranged weapon? Does Rachel die here? For, for, for the uh, intents and no, purposes okay. of your tongue, yes. I have bad I have bad memories of grunk 16? weapons. What's your AC, Rachel? 14! Right. Yep, you are now grappled. Yep, she's grappled and restrained in tongue. my mouth. <laughs> You're pulling it in your mouth? Yep. So... Everybody who's in the bar just witnessed the frog eat the fairy. <laughs> the the barkeep Perfect. looks down, his eyes go wide for a second, and he goes, Whoa. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> I croak and and as I as I do like eat the the seam of my mouth parts and there's a little fairy trapped inside. <laughs> Rules of nature. I turn around and I hop out after everybody else. Survival of the fittest. I do, however, crack my mouth every now and then so she has air to breathe. 
Are you, are you going to meet back up with the rest of them, or are you going somewhere else? No, I'm going to meet the rest of them. So a little frog hops back up in front of you guys, and her cheeks look a little puffed out. If I can't find anything obvious, I'm just taking this kid to the inn. Okay. So you guys all headed back to the inn? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you all, you guys all go back to the inn. You're going to remain there for the rest of the night. Because of that, we're going to switch to uh, Poe. And uh, after that, the session's pretty much going to be done for tonight. All right, I spit the fairy out on her bed when we get back. So. <laughs> are we going. roommates? <laughs> we and, are anybody, now. So okay. for, for the sake of secrecy, I would have been pulling Poe into super secret DM chat for this. But since the rest of you are pretty much done for the night, if you'd like to, you can, you know, leave the channel or whatever. But I hope you've enjoyed your uh, session so far. I think I'm going to head out now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good night, y'all. All the super secret DM stuff. Uh, there will be a lot of that throughout this campaign. Yeah. Just so you know. All right. Bye. 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 See you. I You'd want to think listen a town in would hide right. its secrets better. I'll, I'll let you listen in for the recording, but I'm going to insist that you scrub from your brain everything that happens. All right, fair enough. Three <laughs> is a simple character. I'm thinking it's supposed to just be a simple, oh, hey, look, you're still okay. Bye. And I'm going to walk in right. there. There's going to be blood rituals everywhere. I'm just going to be concerned. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here we go to Super Secret DM Chat. You guys, thanks for playing, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Um, I hope you had fun. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, should I super secret with you? Yes? Yeah, if you want to record it. Okay. I'll see you. Bye! See ya. Alright, Poe. Yeah. You have turned into a deer, correct? Hello? 40 foot movement speed, yes, deer. You'll need to put the map back up. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's right. I guess the real question is, how soon does he get there after I get there? Um. Uh, I think did she started leaving right after we left the inn, correct? Yeah, she had yeah. quite a bit of a head start. I, sp I spent about, like, 10, 20 minutes with the rest of the group with shopping. So... Okay. How long do you think it would have taken me to set up my get up? As a centaur and with the head start that you had and given all of the other events that occurred, um, probably took you about two hours. It's going to take him about that long just to get in the general vicinity of where he thinks you are. Okay. So I am like finishing up things and settling down for the evening. Reasonably, I'd be as fast as she is. I think Centaur have 40 feet, don't they? Uh, is it 40 feet or is it 60 feet, Sarah? Or what, what does it say on your, your sheet, Sylvie? Mine was 40. Yeah. 40, okay, yep. So you're just as fast, yep. Yep. I just don't know where the hell she is. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay. So, off in the northern, like, you, you manage to gallop up to, along the road to the northern woods, and as you come across a, uh, a bit of a clearing on the right-hand side of the road, you see a small campfire and what appears to be, like, a tent that's, like, set up and stuff. Um, Sylvie, I'm going to need you to roll me a perception check. I'll let you do it at advantage because of uh, certain things. Okay, so yep, you notice that somebody's coming down the road. You hear you hear something galloping through the bushes and stuff along the road. Okay, I'm going to uh, make myself presentable again. Okay. 
kind of dust noti- off whatever pine needles and shit are still sticking to me from building the house. Yeah. Yeah, you, you notice that up, upon noticing this, your new acquaintances all, you know, they s- scatter, essentially. Make themselves yeah. scared. All right, and you see a deer come galloping down the road and come to a stop as it sees your campfire and tent. The deer kind of like stands there observing you guys for a little bit. Dway, what are you doing? Or should you say Tyson? Or Go Bo? on. It God doesn't damn, matter. So many names. I recognize oh. them. They're all fine. Uh, yeah, well, upon noticing it, I'll just fucking swap back to my normal form as you Walk up. Okay, you see him shapeshift back into his regular form. You recognize him as one of the guards that met you at the uh, the inn. And you kind of sense, having witnessed him transform from a deer, a level of kinship in the form of him being a druid. Okay, so one wild shape recognizes another type. <laughs> Essentially, yep. Okay. Well, like, I hadn't pegged you for the foresty type. Well, I did tell you earlier to come here. I've talked to the animals here before, back the day. Not, I don't come here often, you know. Farm keeps. Yeah, they're right. all like super sweet. Yeah. Better than the south. The south ones don't really like the north. It's a weird dynamic. The way I want you to roll me a perception check. Gotcha. Damn. Okay, you. Seems like, like most every night that you visited these forests, nothing seems particularly off. But you get a strange sense of something extra mm. in the woods. You don't quite, you don't quite know what to make of it though. It's, it's just like a little nagging at the back of your mind. Ooh, you're breathing in that mic awful hard, dude. Yeah, I know. I, it's because I had my finger put down on it. And I just, I can never remember with push to talk. <laughs> it happens. Un- unnatural, you say. <laughs> Sylvie, if you kind of notice him giving a weird look at the trees around you. Do you like, feel it too? I totally felt it when I first came out here. Yeah, I just can't quite put my finger on what it is. Oh, it's nothing to be worried about. They're just, like, watching you. They don't mean any harm. They just want to say hi. They're, like, scared and shit. (laughs) First off, they. Second, who. Third, what? The little spirity things. Duh. We talking, like, nature spirits here or, like, person spirits? Roll a history check, check uh, Poe. Oh, God. Oh, that's a nice one. You don't recall ever hearing about any kind of spirits in these forests. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm, along with the events of today, that does not seem right. Uh, Rainy Rare is going to see if she can coax one of the little spirits back out. She's going to turn around and kind of hold her hands out to the bush like, it's all right. Like, he's not here to hurt you. And if he is, I'm going to kick him in the face. So you can come out. Give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. Oh, damn. One of those was a 20. My 20. (laughs) Well, I'm going to say that... A 14 is probably high enough. Um, Dway, or (laughs) Poe, you watch. I'll swap my name, I swear to God. As out of the forest, a swirling little moat of light slowly floats out and towards the centaur. Almost seemingly hesitantly. I'm going to cut my hands out in front of me for it to come land in. 
it will cautiously land in her palm and just kind of float there. Quaint. See, they're like super friendly. At least this one is. The rest are still pretty scared, but I'm going to coax them out eventually. Oh, all right. Uh, would this have anything to do with what you happened to do to a box earlier on today? I don't think you would know about the box. Some He meant, I believe the wizard mentioned something about someone fucking with something, and I asked about the lights. Oh, okay. So, it was yeah. Like, yeah, if that conversation took place, then sure. I believe I did anyway. I, I don't I remember. <laughs> I don't remember some mentioned something about the lights and if they were related. To I it. think it was discussed briefly in the yeah. uh, here's the list of the fucked up stuff we found on the way to town. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, oh, we okay. came across this and I went, did you have anything to do with the lights? And I went, maybe. No, yeah, part of the cool. laundry list, basically. <laughs> it's like, yeah, here's everything we did. Nice. Okay, then, uh, yeah, proceed. Alright, well then, yeah. Uh, I think, like, maybe they come out of it, but they don't seem, like, evil or anything. They just kind of seem scared and lost. I think somebody stuffed them in there and, like, locked them up. How close was this wagon to town? Like... We walked about, like, I don't know, if it was, like, ten minutes or something. My hooves are killing me. Ten-minute walk to town with a cart that had something in it, lights, now there's souls in the forest. And I thought I moved to a quiet town. Jeez. Well, I mean, they don't really make much noise. They don't exactly talk, so it's yeah. still quiet. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You know, nothing really happens here. I need to go about my day to day, and now I can guarantee you that tomorrow I'll be investigating that site, and we'll find something. And who knows, these spirits could be related to something much evil. But, you know, it's not doing anything right now. I mean, the two guys at the site were pretty dead, so they're not making any noise either. It's still going to be quiet. <laughs> oh, my. Well. I don't suppose anybody in this party has to speak with dead. <laughs> uh, uh, I do not, and I don't think I can even, like, prepare it, so... Yeah, it'll probably be one of the wizards that has to purchase that scroll. Again, if it's beasts, I can talk to them, but they're not beasts. If only I also knew quarry. Some undead know quarry. I don't know quarry. Um, also, out of curiosity, uh, I'm going to ask you a question real quick in typing, uh, Poe. Oh, nice. I need to. I don't know if we established this already or not, but we're going to make whatever you decide now if we haven't already decided uh, canon. All right. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, mm, good question. Yeah, no, we never actually asked. That, that uh, might be important, so I'm going to try and hammer that out now. Uh, let me just roll the d4. <laughs> okay. And as she's waiting, Rinia's just going to, like, one of the back hooves comes up and kind of scratches like a dog. Yeah, north. North. <laughs> first thing on the list. <laughs> Great. I get to deal with this directly. Let's go. Roll me an insight check, Poe. Uh, wait one second, trying to find where insight is. There it is. Ooh. That's one limber centaur. The back leg having failed, she's going to reach back and, like, scratch it with her hand a second lighter. <laughs> one, it's one limber centaur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was just trying to scratch me. itself like a dog. <laughs> That's a little nice scent. All right. So, spirits to the north. Oh, I hope they, I honestly hope they haven't touched my farm. I don't want to be like, you know, get in the wheat one day going, ah, oh, this is nice, and then accidentally smack one of these things. You got like a farm out here? How yes. Super quaint. Can we go and visit? The animals won't like it. I'm rolling deception. I animals will love me. No, I'm rolling deception. All right, roll insight, uh, Sylvie. Shit! <laughs> you call bullshit. 
Animals love me. Who are you kidding? Let's go. Uh, let me think of a lie here. <laughs> ha! <laughs> you put me in a pickle here. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> This is all in character, by the way. I'm just going. Ah. <laughs> he seems. He seems like he's just really awkward. This poor guy. What's the matter? You got like a bug up your nose or something? Come on! And she's gonna walk over and like take your arm. Oh god! Almost threateningly, and give you like that big fake college girl smile. And I like scared the animals are gonna let me better or something. Are you? Sure. Roll persuasion check. <laughs> Would that be persuasion or intimidation? Um, Honestly, I'll let you decide. Whichever one you want. Uh, yeah, you're not really. Actually, you could go ahead and roll a, a charisma save, I guess. I, uh, me? Shmi? Where's my charisma? Fuck. <laughs> You are intimidated. Listen, it's not you I'm intimidated of, it's other people. <laughs> you, you, just, you had it. You do not like this situation. You don't like dealing with random people. In fact, you chose to live out in the goddamn woods for a reason. You only come to town like twice a week. <laughs> I, I come I come into town, guard the place, maybe sell some wares every now and then. This is not a nice scenario. <laughs> You're just being incredibly antisocial and nervous, and she is being extremely insistent. And you get the sense that she's not going to leave you alone until you do the thing that she wants you to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see if the animals like it. Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright, so are you going to take her to uh, the area where you're far <laughs> I don't see much of a choice. Okay. Um, evening. Did, did you roll to find out where it was? Uh, yeah, north. We are actually north. on the path. Oh, I just okay. rolled a D4 first in the list. So we're going to say that your home is about an hour outside of town. Nice. Um, so you guys continue to wander or follow the trail out of the city. The whole time, out. I'm completely like, kind of just, fuck, shit. <laughs> He's like, just kind of sweating a little bit, nervously <laughs> glancing back at the centaur, and then back at the road, trying to think of some way to ditch you. <laughs> Ooh, they're not gonna like this! <laughs> um, and you will happen upon an open field that is clear of trees that goes on for quite some ways. And over the rolling hills in this field, you can see off in the distance, Poe's farm. I don't know if you want to describe your home. It's or a farm. Whatnot. Big farm. So, we do, you, do you have animals on your farm? Or is it yes, just I do crops? have animals. I have animals. A little okay. bit of everything. <laughs> also, I have some cows, some pig. I have one goat. I love the goat. <laughs> She's gonna, like, make a little squealing noise and, like, reach her arms out towards the cows and then the, she's gonna start heading in that direction, like, oh my god, babies! Look at them! They're, like, so cute! Okay. I'm gonna take the moment when she's distracted to run to the house. <laughs> okay, so, as you're distracted with the animals, Poe just bolts towards the house. And I will note that at this point in time, the sun is starting to go down, much like it was at the bar. Um, it is probably around 8 o'clock in the evening right now. So, Poe has taken off to the house. You are looking at a cow and a goat and uh, whatever the other animals were. <laughs> I'm going to try to coax over. And am I allowed to roll with advantage because I have the convincing feet? Yes. <laughs> You're Actually, roll, roll animal handling for me. Not, 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 not uh, persuasion. 
you're out having the time of your life with my animals, and I'm out here panicking. So with with a ten, I'd say that's probably good enough. The goat comes over to check you out. See, he like totally likes me. One second, while I roll an insight check from the goat. <laughs> she completely fixated on the goat. I'm gone. <laughs> Error in roll. Oh, I see. I forgot the one. Yep. Ah, yep. The goat just bleats at you. She like ruffles its head a bit, flops the ears around. Hey, like, where'd you go? Like he's over here, totally loving me. It like looks at you with its freakish goat eyes. <laughs> Who's a cute little baby? Yes, you are. As it's being pet by you, it seems to notice that your garb that you wear smells kind of tasty. And it is going to kind of like, as you're like petting it, you notice its mouth is getting closer and closer to your clothes. And it's doing that gnashing motion with its teeth like it wants to start nibbling you. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. These are like expensive, and I'm gonna pluck some grass and give it to the goat instead. Uh, roll me a persuasion check. Do I get advantage? Mm, yes, because you have convincing. All right, the goat eh, decides that the grass is closer and goes for the grass. Starts nibbling that. Seems quite pleased. Okay, uh, I'm going to look around for my uh, accompanying party, who is clearly not out here admiring how much I've won the animals over. Nah, oh, you, don't investigation to, you don't need to worry about where I am. Mm, you don't see him. He is kind of just vanished. Although, th there is like a house and a barn, like right there. Yeah, she's going to go to the house. The logical conclusion would be he's probably in one of those two. <laughs> Why yeah. I would never. He doesn't seem house. like the barn type, so I'm gonna check the house. Alright, so you go up to the house and you knock on the door? Yep. Are, is, are you, if you're in the house, do, uh, would you answer? Well, I'd first I'd check to see where people are. <laughs> we okay. gotta confirm where everyone is. You would notice that everyone was in the the room, the main room, basically, when you opened the door. Yeah. Are you going to usher them? <laughs> of course, it will. Else? It will. I will immediately go in there, look at them, and go, go fucking get it, go blue. Okay. They, you're the one looks at you and immediately recognizes. Because you guys have been through this drill before. And grabs up the other two. And they go upstairs. And they hide in the closet. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. All right, cool. uh, compose myself. I, I will warn you, if you don't answer in like 10 seconds, she's going to oh, go peer through the windows. I know, it's going to be the moment. <laughs> I'm, 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 in the fr I'm at the front door. Just <sighs> open door. Hi. <laughs> All right, after a brief pause, and you hear some scuffling, you uh, he opens the door. <laughs> you is... don't have to worry about cleaning. I don't judge. Oh. <laughs> right. I need I need Poe to roll me a deception check, and I want you to roll me an insight check, Sylvie. Is this one where convincing gets me an advantage? No. Where okay. is fucking deception? Oh, Jesus. A 22. Listen, we're fine. We're oh, great here. So Everything's Poe good. has an incredibly forced grin on his face. Like, he's trying to be incredibly polite to you. And he's also sweating a little bit around, like, you know, his ears. <laughs> Can I check the room behind him to see if there's anything weird going on? Well, you look in and you see an empty, what appears to be, living room. 
super I, cute place you have. Can I come in? And she's gonna start coming yeah, in the door. Of course, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be much like the scene from uh, Lord of the Rings. You know. Yeah, just casually <laughs> help so myself to your house. You kind of just let yourself, and you have to kind of lean down a little bit because the door yeah. frame is a little too small for you. Um, but That's as fine. you manage to squeeze through. Actually, Poe, about how wide would your door frame be? Probably about an average door. Average door. <laughs> Three um, foot. I'm foot. gonna say you you have to lean down, and as you're trying to squeeze through, your back half is getting caught a little bit on the sides of this door frame. Had those baby hips, am I right? As you struggle to pull the rest of yourself through, like, roll me a stealth check, Sylvie. All right, yeah. You you squeeze through and pop out the other side, and you're just kind of like, uh, it's uh, the door is a little bit tighter than you thought it was going to be. Uh, I do wear a ring. And I'm just gonna sleight of hand it off, you know? Okay, gonna... roll sleight of hand, and That's you roll fine. a perception check. There you go, see? see? It's right, fine. You, you hide the ring without her noticing. This is fine. I prepared for this moment. You look I around the room, and you see an average, a roughly average quaint living room. Um with a staircase that leads upstairs. Looking at that staircase, it's kind of like one of those ones that goes up and then turns, and then goes up and turns again. And looking like right at that, you immediately know if you had that much trouble getting through the door, you are not <laughs> going to make it up, up that stairs. staircase. <laughs> but you okay. like, look around, you can see into the kitchen area, and uh, you see like there's a downstairs bedroom appears to be. Yeah, I'm just giving her the general tour. It's like, oh yeah, that's the living room, the kitchen. Everything's nice. Nice little quaint. Just for one person. Only one. It is! It's adorable in here. You could probably fit room for two. You could totally convert the upstairs. Yeah. Uh -huh. It looks so cute, and I bet the view would be fantastic. Some would say that you could even fit four in here, but you know, <laughs> why would I want to fit four? <laughs> <laughs> So you're all just kind of standing there. Um, is one he, second. Is Poe a human? I'm an elf. Hi, elf. 156. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, there is, from upstairs, a muffled... <laughs> oh, that He's damn pesky cat. That cat that I own. <laughs> Oh, there's a cat? Oh my yeah. god, I want to, like, oh, see god. it. You can't, I can't roll, in. I'm going to go over to the roll, stairs and roll, on it. roll deception, and you roll insight, in, Sylvie. Oh, you you believe him. There's totally a cat up there. There's a cat. Oh. That's okay, she likes cats. She's going to go start trying to call it down the stairs. Oh god. <laughs> I have spells for this. Is, is there... Is there, in fact, a cat, Poe? No! There is no, no pet! Okay. There's no pets besides the goat. That's the closest thing I have. I was gonna say, like, if there was, in fact, a cat somewhere on this farm, no. I could have a real persuasion and the cat would just come out of the kitchen or Listen, something. I don't, I don't need the cat. Why would I need the cat? I'm friends with the mice. I don't need a mouser. That's true. Ah, oh, cat. Uh, hmm. I have. Let's look at this spell real quick. This is the most awkward home invasion by a co-worker I think I've ever seen. <laughs> what does it look like? Does it does it look fine? It... Corporeal form. Alright, cool. I'm gonna burn a second level spell slot, summon beast. It looks like cat. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have subtle casting? Probably nope. not. <laughs> no, so, I do not. So you're just gonna start casting a spell. Roll me a perception check, Sylvie. It's fine. 
Do I get advantage because he has the sta- same spell set as I, I, I do? I want you to roll stealth. Uh, oh. yep. you, you're not going to get advantage. Because you're busy looking for a cat. Oh, Jesus. God! <laughs> okay, I'm so... Cat real hard. So he's he's quietly over there trying to summon this cat. And you turn and you like out of the corner of your eye, you see him doing this. And you immediately recognize what he's doing. All right, continue. You summon the cat, I assume. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> a cat materializes <laughs> just out of view up the stairs cat, and look, begins cat. to walk down. See, cat. She's going to pick it up mm-hmm. and turn around with it cradled in her arms, like stroking it and just Love give the you the most shit-eating evil villain grin. Yep. Mm-hmm. Lovely cat. It's super cute, but like this isn't the one that sneezed. Oh, are you sure? Uh, it might be. Oh yeah, I can tell the voices apart, and Tabby's never sneezed like that. Oh, oh great, of course. Of fucking course she can tell the difference. Why wouldn't she be yes, able to? That, that <laughs> smile exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, it... Ah, uh, I don't have a lie for this scenario. <laughs> Is there something, like, going on here that has you freaking out this oh, hard? No, this is perfectly normal. A normal house because for one it normal man. It seems like you're freaking out a lot for somebody who's living alone and totally yeah. not hiding a bunch of people in his attic. And she's going to start walking towards you, uh-huh. like, looming over top of you. Yeah. Still still that smile, still stroking uh-huh. the cat. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to start talking? verbal and somatic. You, you will notice that the last ribbons of sunlight are beginning to fade through the windows in your house as the sun has now set. It is now dark outside. Well, would you look at the time? It's time to go to bed. You know, I don't have room for a horse in my house, so if you could please just Oh, but don't you? You have this whole downstairs bedroom and the entire upstairs all to your one person self. I know. There, there the is also a barn. It's so dark. Yeah, there's a barn. I, I can set you up in the barn. It's not that far of a walk. You know, it's perfect for a horse. Roll persuasion. Mm. Yeah, roll persuasion and you can roll a charisma save. Shit. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, no. He, he's managed to persuade you that that barn does, in fact, though quaint, look very comfortable. It's a very nice barn. At least more comfortable it, than the bedroom. <laughs> it, it does look more comfortable because these beds were not made for horse people. Just particular horse here, yeah. Either you'll be standing just in my living room, just there, and honestly, you'll probably scare me in the morning if I just come down, there's a horse there. Or, or you could go in the barn, I could set down some hay, you can, you know, have a nice little comfortable spot to sleep. You know, that does kind of sound good. And as nice as my tent was, like, I wouldn't mind actually sturdy walls for a change. I'm more of a city gal, yeah. which is weird because I'm a druid. It's like a forest city. Oh. It's kind of hard to describe, Trust but me, like, it sounds nice. I, I, I left the city to become a druid for a short bit. It was a nice time. <sighs> you know, like you're not currently a druid. Uh, I left. I didn't really like the life. I became a farmer. I mean, that's kind of like being a druid, but as a day job. Yeah, basically. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just me on this farm by myself with my animals. You okay, roll, are they going to be in the farm? You can roll deception and you can roll insight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, I'm really not good about <laughs> lying there. That's a bad thing. <laughs> <clears throat> you gonna roll insight there, Zoe, or did you? She did, same number. Oh, oh you both rolled the six? All right, roll yep. again. Shit. Hi, Bricka. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I just watched that full beam. Now. Yep. Yeah, no, you know he's full of shit. Try me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything yeah. hiding. But at in the, the same Facebook. time, you don't detect that he's doing it out of hostility towards you. 
It yeah. seems like he's protecting people. Yeah. You, you picked that up. She's Sorry. picked up on that. So she's going to give you, like, back to the less wicked smile, more like an actual sweet smile. And she's still cuddling the illusion cat, by the way. It's not an illusion. It's an actual cat. Oh, okay. the, the summoned cat. <laughs> yeah, it's an, yeah, it's an actual <laughs> cat. Yeah. If you could get me, like, set up in the barn for the night, we could totally hang out here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I could chat with all your animals, and the goat totally let me pet it, by the way, so you were wrong, they do like me. Yeah, I know, Shane. <laughs> How could have I have thought that a druid, that animals wouldn't like druids? <laughs> Damn it, Billy, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, run, okay. Chop! Okay, so Poe goes out and he clears space for you in the barn. And he, he does his best to try and make it seem, uh, clean and homey. Why don't you roll me a performance check? Oh, God. No, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. I mean, he did a really good job at making sure there was no poop or anything in your stall. Um, there's some fresh hay. Looks like it'd be nice to sleep on, maybe. Uh, there's plenty of room in here. It looks like maybe sometimes he's got horses or cows or whatnot that stay in the stall. Sometimes elk come here, you know. With A- after he finishes, he just kind of very politely and nervously, like, says, have, have a good night. And then he runs back to his house, slams the door closed, and turns off all the candles. It's going to be a really awkward conversation in, in bed, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so she's, uh, I, I don't suppose there's any lights in the barn, but if there are, she's going to. Turn them off. And... There are there are some lamps that are hanging up. If you want, you could put those out. Yeah. Socialize with the animals for a little bit, then turn the lamps out and kind of mound up the hay in one corner. And to all appearances, go to sleep. Okay. Don't like and... how you said that. To <laughs> <laughs> all appearances. <laughs> okay. Well, for all intents and purposes, that will end the session for tonight. There is plenty of room for anyone who wishes to do so to do midweek shenanigans this week for what happens overnight. I will message everybody else and let them know that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed playing, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Sylvie, don't break into my damn house again. (laughs) (laughs) Fine, I'm not going to break in. I mean, technically, you you invited the vampire into your home. I didn't.